Well, grab a seat, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. D and Davis the flip. Uh, flip. Flippity. We are back. Uh, had a little break this week from doing D and Davis the show. Unfortunately, the death bug has been going around. I think it hit in threes. Who has passed? Ryan's grandmother passed. Shout out to Ryan's grandma. Afton's grandmother passed. Oh, I mm. saw that post. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. And yeah. someone else passed. I can't remember. My friend, my um, cousin's ex, her mother passed. Oh, wow. So it was a bit of this bit. I'm like, it happens in threes. And when I hear it, I'd be like, shut up. But not in a bad way, but I mean, because me, it's just you don't wish that, more, yeah. yeah, just wishing more death or whatever. Yeah, you but don't hear that. A lot of grannies went out this week, to say the least, and not even joking. We wish them the best, and we appreciate the yes. things that they brought into the lives of our lives or the people that we're connected to lives. So we thank you for doing so much in the time frame that you had here on this planet. It's nothing like a grandma. Nope. Nothing like a grandma. Good. You might have someone that's mean. We have some that's like sweet as apple pie. Mm-hmm. Like, or a mixture. As my grandma once yeah. said to me, I said, Grandma, you nice. She said, only to you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she said that to all of them, though, didn't she? Yeah, my, gr- <laughs> yeah, yeah. my grandma was kind of like that, too. They were like, they're all growing up, like, man, your grandma kind of mean. Like, I mean, she get on us, too. You know, so I get hit with a broom a few times, but I definitely deserved it. Uh, but uh, but the same thing, man. It's kind of like, man, grandma mean, but hey, she's the sweetest thing you ever want to meet. Sweet. My grandma was my grandma was my mother, my father's mother. Okay. I had two great grandmothers. My grandmother, my mother's mother, her, we called her Bit Ma. Uh, she was mm-hmm. fantastic. Yeah, my great grandma was Big Ma. Yeah. And my father's great. I grew up in the house with my great grandmother on my father's side. She mm. was she was more. I think we called her Big Mother. Big oh, Mother. Wow. We were kind of more proper on yes. that. <laughs> Big Mother. <laughs> Call me Mother. But uh, her daughter, her youngest mother. daughter. Her youngest daughter is my grandma, and she basically was my mom. Okay. And she was just terrific. She, yeah. If you ever get a chance, I don't know everybody. We would, I guess we can ask this right quick. Have you ever had the chance to meet your great grandparents? Because that, for most people, that never happened. I met my great grandmother. I met, I met I, I, she used two to wash of dishes. my great grandmothers. She used to be able to wash dishes, uh, and then she lost our. By the time she died, when I was five, two great grandmothers and one great grandfather. I have never met a grandfather. A great grandfather or I, grandfather. I never met her. My, my father's my mother's father died when she may be not when she was maybe nine. Oh wow! And my father's father kind of wasn't in his life. His uncle kind of stepped up and did more. But my father's father, I never, I never really. Maybe when I was a, t- a kid, a baby, mm-hmm. but I've never as a sentient. Kids, so, so I met, my I met all of my grandfathers. Uh, I even want to say three because my father, my my, my daddy, you know, my stepfather, but I met his father, he's still living. I met my obviously my grandfather who I was living in the house with, he had passed away when I was 10. And my gr- grandfather who's still alive down in Mississippi, he is 90, mm. 90 years old. Mm. Yeah, anybody else? Y'all met your grandparents? Just great aunt, great aunt. Yeah, that's it. As a kid, she passed away when I was early teens, I think. Okay, all right. Or actually, okay. no, earlier than that. Sorry. Probably, like, before double digits. Okay, all right. I had the blessing of having all four grandparents, but the, ver- the with the fact that both my parents and my, all sets of grandparents were older, obviously I missed out on great-grandparents, so... That's not an experience I have, D. Yeah. Hope you value yeah, that. I mean, if you're lucky if you do have it, Sid. No, quick. no great-grandparents for no? me. No, okay. What about your trip to Montreal? You were just breaking down to us about this wonderful days in that you experienced. Yeah, Ann Arbor, kind of a dump. No, it's <laughs> it's all of our Michigan. Everything except for the big house. No, I, I like Ann Arbor. The people but, weren't uh, bad there. I've never been. I would like to go though. Uh, they, they weren't bad to me there. Uh, the place what? isn't bad. Hold on, wait a minute. Like it's not bad. The fact you said it wasn't bad to you, that means that it's not a lot of us up there. Is that what there's you're trying to say? No, there's a decent amount of us. Yeah. My, co- my cousin lives there. He doesn't go to the school. He moved from Chicago to. He lives in Ann Arbor. So is it sort of like a South Bend thing? Probably. You know, so yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit. Probably a bigger South Bend. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely, definitely. But no, you have your black area in okay. uh, well, Ann Arbor. I, 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 I went to the liquor store and I got a, I, I, I got a pint of Hennessy on chill. I was like, this place ain't bad. <laughs> it's like, do you want a coat? I said, well, yes, I do, son. <laughs> yes, I do. I know what you all like. <laughs> you like your Hennessy cold, <laughs> don't you, boy? <laughs> <laughs> me and my cousin, we used to we used to be around here drinking yak. So I was like, oh, I'm here. I'm let me get a bottle of yak for us to sip on. Yeah. But uh, definitely, I remember you taking a trip up there. Yeah, went up there. Then I went to Detroit. I like Detroit. Same. I've only been through it. I like Detroit. Yeah, I, I, would I would live in Detroit. I would live in Detroit because it's so much of Chicago. Oh, it's pretty cool. Parts of Chicago, like if you like water, 
you like an urban environment, it'll work. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It has right. Chicago right. Avenue. I remember yeah, seeing so that. You I can basically swim across to Canada. There yeah. that's, that's my only issue. It's a little bit too close to the other side. <laughs> I like it. Hey. I, I like it more spacious. I mean, I like people. Oh, you mean the water. Yeah, no. I, I like, was going to say, take, appreciate the fact Canada's no, so close. I, I, <laughs> listen, listen, the crazy part, I was right there. Of not too far where that hanging fist is or whatever that yes, they have. Yes, in downtown. Lewis. And it's right. right, so that's right by one of, if not, where people walk back to Canada. So I was, oh, this really? was at the end of the work day. And people are just walking and they're about to walk under this thing to go back over to Canada or whatever. And I'm like, really, really, right? Hmm. But I, but living in, being in the place here in Chicago where we are right on the Midland Ocean. Yes, it's a Midland Ocean. That's not a lake. Uh, <laughs> it, but it it is inland hey, sea. It is, yeah, yeah, I've always yeah, said yeah, that it's yeah, an inland it sea. Yeah. So when you but we you know like yeah if you're staring going east you can see parts of Indiana but yes. basically mm-hmm. if you're looking north it's a vast space of water There's nothing yeah so that I still prefer that mm-hmm. to know like it's you know like sure. like that, that is pretty special yeah it's, and also oh, you yeah. can't always see Indiana I mean maybe on maybe, a good day right, you can. yeah listen on a good I day. saw Not when we day. was in um um. Michigan City, I could see the Sears Tower from Michigan City. Oh, from yeah. The, from the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good shot. If you, it's a clear day, you can't see it. Yeah. Michigan City. What was some yeah, way man. out <laughs> far houses. Indian nice houses. place that I was that must have been like elevated slightly because you were like out so far, but they'd torn a bunch of shit down or there was like parkland around and you were like, how can I see the Sears Tower from here? It was like old park or some shit. Yeah. I'm like, damn, it's that's a, very, a long way. It's a very yeah, I used to look for fur winter. We got a story know. about my grade school in here. I used to look out my grade school window, which is on 79th and Jeffrey, so really about five blocks away from here, and I could see the Sears Tower from mm-hmm, no problem. Mm-hmm, yeah. Just look, just looking at right down there. You can see there. it from midway. But anyway, talk about this Days In real quick. Yeah, so we get to the House of Horrors, the Days <laughs> In. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The House of Horrors or the House of Whores? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not the latter. Basically, yeah. He he certainly his, he the former. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure on this one. Because I would be familiar with the latter, and I was definitely not there. So we uh, get into this day's in. Wait, so now we got a whorehouse store we got to no, go no, over? No, <laughs> no don't distract me from the beautiful Let's days in. Let's jump over this day's in and get to this whorehouse store <laughs> that you've been holding back from us. Well, you got to go to Montreal. They're the best. <laughs> Anyways, so this day's in. You go in. You know what's a rare smell in hotels nowadays? Cigarette Cigarettes. smoke. Ooh. It was a stink and starch cigarette oh, smell. <laughs> Marlboro's or Newport's? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it awesome. was uh it was very pungent. No, it was not. in the carpet, in <laughs> the walls. They're actually Parliament. Did y'all, then, did y'all ask for another room? It was in the hallway when you walk in, like oh. to the building. Oh. It was in the room. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. It's like when did they allow you smoking were in yesterday? The house. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. They were selling ass in that place. <laughs> it looked converted. It looked converted Wait from minute, something. Because we had a sliding uh, door that was broken that you couldn't go Michigan out. Does Michigan allow smoking indoors too? I doubt it. No, not the hotel I stayed in. No, no. Okay, so we weren't walking around there. (laughs) Hello, darling. (laughs) And then we get into the room. Okay. Yeah. We go to the bathroom. Just water leaking from the the faucet. (laughs) Okay. What is the faucet? A few uh, pieces broken. On the the shower thing, you can't really tell where the hot water is or the cold water level because that piece surprise you. And then uh, you try to close the door. It's been painted too much for the door to actually close. Oh yeah, I've been in all the way that have sh- showers like. Was that. this like right off of Eight Mile or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> Where were you? The exit before the big house. Wow. <laughs> I guess uh, that was the ghetto part of Ann Arbor. I don't know. Damn. I mean, sometimes you get to these like chain mo- motels, and they just. It's like a franchise, and some people just don't care as much as yeah, other people. It's always a roll yeah. of the dice. Especially with a day's in, too. Yeah, so then, exactly. uh, you move on from the bathroom that you can't close the door in, and you see the TV slanted because somebody tried to take it, so they bolted it down <laughs> into the dresser, and it was just a little bit slanted off to the left. Because nobody owns a level. Apparently. So I had uh, the Clippers and Miami Heat game on, and we're watching it. It's hot as hell. It's like 80 degrees, 90 now? degrees in there. Yeah, I don't know. We were like above the boiler room or something. We were making jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and like the heat was just rising up. at the Jets. All right. I don't know where we were. Whoa. And then uh, I'm on the bed. You know, we just move around a little like side to side. It falls off the frame. So I had to go lift it up. The frame is just like a two by four thing frame just built together 
with uh, the uh, what's the thing? The mattress box underneath spring. Box, spring? box spring still in the bag, and you have to like kind of just get it where it's somewhat even on all the sides because there's no like thing that stops it from sliding off. You just have to get enough of the size of that wooden frame below it. That was a blessing. Hey, hey Frank, go fix the bed. You know big. what? That was a blessing because I was going to ask you, did you check for bed bugs? <laughs> oh, yeah. She had a bag. That's the first thing yeah. I thought about was so, bed bugs. Because that lets you, that lets you know, at least there were no bed bugs. That place sounds like mm-hmm. broke. Yeah, yes. I don't think that there was. Well, yes. wait. How long has he been back? He might take. I'm, yeah, now I'm going to terrify the man. <laughs> no. I, don't, I feel immune to bed bugs All right. for whatever reason. <laughs> Ooh, check back later, friends. <laughs> Right, Is that the famous last word? Basically, <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right. That was the day's end. And a delicious Jimmy John's, though. I will say that. A delicious Jimmy John's? Yeah, I had a good Jimmy John's sandwich there. They're not all the same? No. I feel like they're all I'm some trying to give Ann Arbor some credit Some here. of them are better than others. If you're talking Can I about give Ann Arbor some credit? It wasn't, but wait, this Jimmy John's wasn't connected to this day's No, episode. no. <laughs> that would have been great. Separate. Down <laughs> well, the street. Each, 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 like a Subway, I know this, I was a Subway artist, each uh, Jimmy John's had their own special, not special, but each person makes the, makes the sandwich himself. So, I mean, if you have a good sandwich maker, it's be a good one. See, I worked at Jimmy John's and I get exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it depends on who's making the sandwich. Also, you... you I'm so for shame your comment that they're all the same, Jason. <laughs> shame. I feel like for shame God for you, you didn't go to Zingerman's. <laughs> I feel like they're more strict on how they do their sandwich way. Well, Not in the yeah, artist? And Subway is kind. Of, I don't yeah, care. Subway just slapping. Yeah, shit Subway just slapped that shit on there. Oh no, that was. You call that shit art? No, it was I on our shirts. Subway. Yeah, sandwich artist. It was on our shirts. Subway sucks. Anyway. Mm-hmm. No, did you at least go to Zingerman's when you were there? Zingerman's. What's that? What's that? Deli. Oh, no. like in an nationally wide known deli. Yeah, no, you I like know. Sandwiches too. Yeah, I mean, at that point, yeah. I don't eat bread. Yeah, mm-hmm. but um, no, I didn't go. I did. I went to a couple places in Detroit. I'm trying to think where did I go eat in Ann Arbor. I don't really remember. I went to some. I went to a Mexican uh, restaurant. I definitely remember going there, um, but I can't remember where else I went to eat in Ann Arbor. Don't remember. Mm. But no, I didn't know about Zingerman's. Well, Usually word for I the wise, everyone, and Delis. everyone out in the listening world, go to Zingerman's. You might have to stand in line wait for a sandwich a little bit longer than you would for Jimmy John's. You might Is have it on to like, walk around for parking. No, it's like off of downtown. It's okay. like the other side. Uh, Bricktown? Is that a thing? It's I don't know. It's oh, near... It's near um, Community High School. Is Ann like Arbor a place school. that you would recommend like to go see? Oh, you, I, I didn't really look that much. Mostly just I can't drive through it. through it. You're fine. Stop off for a couple hours. Like yeah, I said, get not, the, go to the deli. If anything, you're going for the university. You'll, yeah. you'll, if you get a chance yeah. to go to a game. That's more it. like that. Okay. It's not, I would say go to Detroit. Yeah, yeah. Be a, like, make it be a part of it. Yeah, yeah but, especially but, if you're here. Again, mm-hmm. I again, if I, you see, sometimes I have that um that Ford shirt, and mm-hmm. I'm a GM person. Mm-hmm. But I went to the the Picune. Uh, it's this historic uh, place where they used to build four cars, and at every level they have different kind of Ford oh, that sounds kind of cool. Tees and how they grew, and yeah. he, they don't even just have four cars to like show you how. Yeah, it's a museum. Uh, they still send me emails and stuff. It's terrific. Oh, okay. Uh, so, like, there's like again, I say in Detroit, yeah. I think there's more offerings yeah. of stuff to do. Again, like make it all, an all inclusive trip. But I much prefer to say spend your time in Detroit. Than yeah, I do want. I do want to take a trip up to Detroit. Yeah, j- just real quick. It's been years since I've been to Detroit, but um, uh, the last time I was there, I'll bring up this guy's name. This guy got in trouble. Uh, uh, afterwards, oh, Kwame Kilpatrick. That's where the, the image of the city started to change at the time. But mm. I went to uh, Detroit Tigers game. Comerica uh, Park. It is beautiful. It's right next door to uh, Ford Field in downtown yeah. Detroit. Yeah. It is beautiful. I know the, uh, downtown has changed, but uh, but uh, it's it's downtown, a really beautiful downtown it's area. Now. Yeah, it's downtown. Is, it's yeah. Why are the city? In, it was, in when I was there, it was just the starting to change. Yeah. It changed yeah, it then. The Wasn't it uh, yeah. mm-hmm. that Cavs owner Dan Gilbert? Isn't he the one that? Oh yeah, like he invests like a whole like lot of property down there. Yeah. 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 yeah, they also built little Cedars there's on the other side of the highway from Ford mm-hmm. and Comerica, which happened after I was going there all the time. So I remember when it was just a massive hole in the ground. That's the last time I was in Detroit when they were building little Cedars. But I've heard it's a. I don't want to say it's a palace because that's where they used to play. Right. And right, that right, gets, right, gets right. confusing, but it is enormous. Mm. Massive. Does Motorola's full test mean this phone won't last a year? Not quite. Z, CNET. The Razer's full test didn't come as close to 120,000 folds that they achieved with the Galaxy Fold last year. These are testers. Or even 100,000 folds capping off at 27,000 folds before we had to pull the plug on the experiment. The only reason I'm bringing this up is. 
who the hell has been pining for a new razor? They've, I've been hearing it that they're coming yeah, back they, out. I know they're coming I, out. I've, I've heard. I that. had a razor. Did you have a razor? No, Did you I have not. a razor? First cell phone. No, I wasn't had to my wait first around cell phone. for that. And I didn't know that. if I wanted it when I got it. I no. just decided to get it. What was the fascination of having a razor? It was that, it, it was, that was slim. the whole thing because that thing slim. looked dumb. But Bef- no, before before we had slim, elegant, industrially designed iPhones, you either had plastic bricks or you had a little skinny razor. I had a Nokia. Yeah, the brick flip. Yeah, I had a brick flip. Yeah, Motorola. I had one of those too. I had a Motorola those brick flip. Trash too. Oh, if cell phones back so, then were trash. No, 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 no. But don't you miss no, those Nokia razors were yeah. uh, uh, extra trash. Step up. Uh, no, it's Motorola made the trade. I think the uh, like the LG trash? wasn't bad back mm-hmm. then. Nokia's wasn't bad. Nokia's was trash. No, so how many folds do you think you got with your original razor? Oh. I got way more than 20,000. Hell yeah. And when I finally gave it up, it's because the, the, but the, the, the thing came off. But I think like, the you're thing talking about actual folds. My, my razor still, I think I can find it and it's still you find it. <laughs> is this new razor opening? It opens, but this is the thing. I believe it opens to make one sheet. Like mm. it's one, you know how like now they have it? Yeah. Well, I believe that's the, the thing where it opens and it's one screen basically when it opens. So that's probably part of the issue. But in further in this article, the hinge where you close it wouldn't close all the way. Mm. And they tried to mess with that, and the thing just fell to shit. So this is going to be difficult because I'm trying to do something with my hands while talking the microphone. But, like, they literally just had, like, plugs, essentially. And it did like this. Oh, and when mine came finally came apart from dropping it, of course, <laughs> it literally just came out the side like it was like a plug or a rivet or something. Mm-hmm. But it's just like it kind of pushed in there with pressure. That's where we've come. We've come from that so, to everything being hermetically sealed. Basically. Like, so wait a minute. So when is the when is the release date of this new Motorola? Is it Motorola making this razor? I mean, I would assume so. That or were they bought out? Proprietarily Motorola. That's what I thought. Or were they bought out? I haven't heard anything about Motorola in years. It'll be released on this. It's released already. It really? got released like on Friday. Oh. Ooh, sure. it's not I'm surprised there was no commercial for it. I mean, who if, the hell wants a commercial for it? Who wants a you know they put those cell phone commercials that's, everywhere. That's nostalgia. That's Introducing the new razor. That's bad nostalgia. That's like, man, you got the new uh, black. No, it was a blueberry. No, it was, it was yeah, uh, black, yeah, black, 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 Little keypad. It had that keypad, but it was yeah. like trash. It was like you pressed on it, and those things like they 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 got rid of them in like six months. Damn, things was terrible. So yeah. I think probably they've just done targeted marketing, and we just aren't what they're looking for because we haven't done the right searches. But I did just search, so now I probably will. I'll get back to you on whether or not to get target marketing. But they are putting this out there on the website as an icon reinvented. The reinvented razor is here. Yeah. Motorola.com. I feel like Motorola is really clapping itself on the back with this one. Like, we liked it. Our options were really, really limited back then. Yeah, dude. I guess so. Can we go back to pre-smartphones? Is it too late? I mean, you can try. With but... my razor, I didn't use it. I didn't use, like, I didn't, initially when I had a cell phone, I didn't use the computer part of it that much. Well, I used to always why. be amused at how, like, Afna would sit there, and she would be looking for stuff up on that little screen mm-hmm. on the cell phone, and I would just grab a laptop and be like, okay, I'm going to do what I need to do. It's, it's just the same way how I feel about watching movies on the laptop. I still, like, let me do certain things in a certain space. Now, with my cell phone, I do use it as my a laptop. I, I, I'll say that. Mm-hmm. But still, there's certain, I have a preference. So why would I, because I used the Razer, as a, it wasn't a smartphone. I mean, it was just a phone, basically. Right. So I'm with you, though. Can we go back to to have a, a, a certain type of connection with one another? Right. Than what we have now. Can we just limit it to just texting, call, and if you need to do social media, you nah, do it on the laptop. It's too much money now into apps and things of that nature. Yeah. Online banking, it's just too much. Think about too. Instagram isn't even really built for a laptop or a computer. Yeah. It sure is. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. not. Built it's for, not. It's, but for your phone. It's on your smartphone. I remember when I, I first downloaded Instagram. It was like, ah, oh, this is kind of cool. It's kind of having the pictures or like that, kind of like a, a photo photo book on your phone, whatever like that. I mean, obviously, it turned into something else. But nah, man, I, it's, there's no way I think we ever go back to a pre-cell phone. I world. think the phrase that, we're all looking in, for is the, the horse is out of the barn and the barn door is still open. Like, there's no going No, the back. barn's yeah. burned down. <laughs> they got yeah, nowhere to go. Solar fair, brother. Solar fair, brother. <laughs> well, that's, that's, well, that's we'll, one thing we'll as far as it just won't work. We'll go back. Go back to a landline. 
No, Broder Keeman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have to go that People far. Right. Actually, <laughs> since we did the grandparents thing earlier, around the room, I know you guys are going to say yes to rotary phones. What about everybody yeah. else? Hands up for rotary phones? Well, it would oh, just no. not be him. No. He's the youngest no. person. Yeah. No, no. Well, Wait, only, much, the only... You never use a rotary phone? No. Before? Ryan, how much no. younger are you than me? I don't know. I'm 30. Okay, we're a year apart. How'd you miss the rotary phone? Who had a rotary phone? My poor ass, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> for like a long time. For Your parents just time. held on to that. How did you have a rotary phone? They had pay phones when we were alive. They had the regular phones with the buttons. Oh, well, I knew that. Mid 90s. Who has a rotary you phone? You had a rotary phone in the mid 90s? I think my rotary phone, we got rid of that maybe by the late 80s. Like, I was definitely. Isn't our... it all in the 80s movies? They tap the numbers and you slam it down. Two, but you still can have a rotary yeah, phone. Yeah, but we were poor. We had... I remember people there talking. There's nobody in here rich. I vote Look at you. <laughs> maybe Ryan a little bit. To your bit more point, to your point, in Stranger Things, Winona Ryder is like the low class poor uh-huh. woman. She's got the rotary phone, and all the others <laughs> right. have the regular yeah. tap phone. And that was 83. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I remember Barbershop used to go to, we had a pay phone that was a rotary phone. Yeah. yeah. I didn't like that. Yeah, because that, phone, that you can lose your money that way. It was yeah. it was straight it like was an like, old you, phone. Did like you have to hold the speaker? No, to your, to your... <laughs> no. You told you told them you told them to patch you into the number. And then did you have to? <laughs> Do you have to crank that <laughs> thing to like generate the power? 931, please. Can you hear me, Larry? Can you hear me? Yeah, so despite the fact of me being surprised, because I just figured like, oh, maybe there was always somebody, like the other room has the rotary phone. I did know that I was like a little bit outside the norm when the one. when the radio stations would say, you can only call and win this contest with a... With a touch tone phone, and I'm like, yeah. well, oh, damn. Remember, I'm ruled yeah. out. Wow. That was I like early that. 90s. Wow. I, don't, I don't remember. I, I remember, but I, I remember don't remember that. that. Thank you, yeah. dude. Wow. <laughs> you said, yeah, because it had to be, it had to be, dude, because it's a different tone. Yeah. So, you know, I felt you could do that In that moment, in that moment, I felt very excluded. Wait a minute. Very, very excluded. We have a rotary phone upstairs. I mean, you know, I've we seen can't them. use it. We have an old school one. You pick it up like this. Crazy we have it for uh, antique. You just said you feel excluded. So my son comes to me <clears> the other day. He says, yeah, my friend tried to add me to this group, uh, but I couldn't get added to it because it's iPhones only. Oh. And he felt a certain kind of way. And I'm like, what you want me? Like, I'm not going to just go out and buy you an iPhone to get in some group. Like, your phone is newer <laughs> than mine. Wait a minute. Hold on. What kind of group is this that says iPhone only? What is this? What kind of group? It's probably something like that we've had to, had to talk about because we can't name our groups because certain people don't have iPhones. Oh, you have nothing to do with yeah. the Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Ooh, yeah, I remember. They seeing, want everything blue. I remember seeing. A me- <laughs> I, I actually do remember seeing a meme that's like the worst thing when you're te- when you have a group text with the Galaxy Group. I was like, that's my only group text that I allow because I actually care about these people. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. I about that. we can't name the group because <laughs> of one phone. All right. Seeing <laughs> 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 it'd be so helpful to name that group because sometimes you end up yeah in somewhere else. You think yeah, you think you're texting one group because the first names I got is like Melvin Demise or something. I thought it go al- alphabetical order. Whatever. It moves sometimes yeah, too. Yeah, At least so, on my phone. Yeah. So it I, if you share some other threads with them, you think you're talking to that until someone responds be like, oh, I was sending this to this other group. Yeah. Also, can I got something too? <laughs> Let me just put this out, because I'm sure you Kyle will be done. Melvin's the only person. Can we just add him to the main group and call it a day? <laughs> Simplify okay. our lives? Well, it's just because for us, he's a part of our lives, and I don't want to force Ryan on other people. Well, but Ryan, why so, not? Everybody knows Ryan. Well, so I'm just, I would be so much easier. You're going to force me on the Africans think, when we go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say. So th- thank you for not having this conversation. But can we switch? Can we trade them? <laughs> no, you're out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh no, it would be. No, it would be. I, I know. I'm not being serious at all. Yeah, but like, it would be. be some, there's some of times we're just like, oh, we didn't. You didn't know, right? We did that in the other group. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like, can we just well, add him to yeah, okay. might as well go. I mean I just wanted to I just wanted to get at least one person, but I know Melvin probably wouldn't care. But I know Kyle is fine with it's it. It's very I'm inside Kyle baseball all of a sudden. You guys. <laughs> Isn't Kyle Galaxy? Mm. I, yeah, you just Because uh, of one person. <laughs> <laughs> he we, wasn't trying leave, not to say it. Can we leave my cousin out of this? Can we leave my cousin now, out of this? Now he doesn't get to be in because he broke Can you leave my it. cousin out of this? Facts. <laughs> that, Shout that, out to Kyle. Part now, of being in this one now is it's been, we don't Your invitation has been reneged, sir. Damn. Can you leave my cousin alone? Shout out to Kyle. <laughs>
All right. Police investigating alleged kidnapping and sexual assault found a different woman's body stuffed in a suitcase at a home in Las Vegas. Gotta be Las Vegas. The, you really think it had to be Las Vegas? Well, really? Or, or they, Florida. I was well, about to say, you're not going to put Florida in. Well, there were like five places I thought of before Las Vegas. I was about to say, maybe Georgia. Texas. Ohio? Listen, I've, I've, I was thinking yeah, Los Angeles. I, I know the, the, the thing uh, with Florida, Ohio, that. with uh, uh, Why Don't Sylvie. Sylvie. I didn't know Ohio can be as crazy as it could to, till that segment, but still. Oh, yeah. I don't think Remember Ohio. Remember that zoo? That guy had that zoo <laughs> that, like, <laughs> ran out? That. He had a zoo in his backyard. What? Because they have no laws for, like, exotic animals. In Ohio? Yeah, in Cincinnati, like, outside well, of Cincinnati. Well, Cincinnati's different. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, and that's, that's Kentucky. Ohio. That's yeah. Kentucky. That's Kentucky. It was on the Ohio side. It was Kentucky. Fine, you get a nice... Flair of Kentucky, but culturally, still Ohio. <laughs> culturally, Cincinnati is Kentucky. It's Kentucky, Ooh. and they want you to say. And, and, and the animals got off from Cleveland. The tiger killed you. him, and the animals got loose. Where was that? Where was that? Wait, wait. What the? Where you that? don't remember that? No. Oh, that the real game is: story. is it Texas or is it Ohio? Though apparently, because they also like their big game out there. Oh, that's like that comedian that says, you know, the <laughs> where the most collection of tigers are: Texas. One guy got a tiger, and his neighbor's like, shit, I didn't know we'd get tigers. And he got two tigers, and the first guy was like, I ain't about to let this f***ing out tiger me. Yeah, they have more the most, than in the wild. Yeah, they have the most amount of tigers. Didn't we talk about this on a flip? Like, I think so. Weeks, in months Texas, ago? they got tigers just running around? Just, no, captive. No, just saying captive. They like have the most... Yeah, the most tigers. They might are in be Texas. on a reserve with a lot of land with right. big fans, or they might just be in somebody's rec room. Yeah, like a lot of people own them. Rec room as far as stuffed, or rec room as far no, 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 as no, no, alive, alive, just like Get a pet. Them. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck like that. All right, all right. What's the story? The incident started Wednesday when a woman told the Las Vegas police that she had been kidnapped and sexually assaulted at a residence by the suspect, later identified by Gary Walker, uh, age fifty-five. Mm. When detectives went to the home, they they were notified Walker had allegedly killed another woman at the same residence and found a gruesome scene. Homicide detectives responded to the residence with a deceased female was found in a suitcase. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department said in a statement, it's unclear who uh, told the detectives that a woman was killed at the resident. Walker was arrested Wednesday on charges of murder, kidnapping, assault with a deadly weapon, sexual assault, according to online records. This is the crazy part. What the? Do you know how crazy some got to be where you come to somebody's house for one offense and somebody runs out there and tell you you got a dead woman up in there in a suitcase? Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, just think about that. Yeah. And you yeah. know that's what yeah. happened. Somebody yeah. was like, oh, he got another dead one. Dead one, like, yeah. shit has gotten the fuck out of here with yeah. this shit. Yeah, that's wild. I, I couldn't imagine walking up to somebody's house for one thing and then coming out and finding something like that. And I've and listen, I've been in many of places. I'm with, I was like, I uh, should not be here. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, should, I should walk out right now. Do I instantly? No, I don't, because I want to see what the hell is happening. Then I leave. And if you want some examples. Thank you for the Arnie <laughs> story, by the way. <laughs> yeah, just listen to this. <laughs> and basically, <laughs> and basically. But no, I mean, I couldn't imagine walking up to somebody's house and like looking for one thing. I came to get some sugar. Oh shit! There's a woman in a suitcase. In the suitcase, or in the wall, or you know, stuff like. Remember that. that JJ Reddick story when he went into the limo and like some woman was being held there? No, no. Mm. Well, that happened be... like 2018. <laughs> what did he do? He like called the authorities. Like okay. he like figured out some woman was like in trouble or something. Sex like that. trafficking? I, I trafficking? forgot exactly what the she, details. Yeah, she bleeped the ass three times. One, yeah, two, she's three. I'm reading. I think she was like, it was like a mistake. Like she was in his limo, and he was like, "What's going?" Or no, she was in the trunk of his limo. I'm sorry. <laughs> and he heard her bang, and he's like, "What's in the trunk?" To the driver, and then he called the police and everything. And what like did the driver that. say? He had nothing. I think he took <laughs> off or something like that. What? He, so <laughs> like he pulled over and just like left. <laughs> oh God! So wait, this, I hope this that driver was okay. I'm this laughing. driver thought go he was gonna be this. able to pick yeah. somebody Please up. Please find yes. a body, a, a person alive. JJ Reddick, no less. And they wouldn't hear what was going on. What's that, sir? <laughs> I didn't need nothing. Don't worry about that. So I think what that's one of those deck Texas Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get out here? <laughs> like, why is this limo so, taking off? So like I that? think what we, the common thread between the JJ Reddick story and the story in Las Vegas is this is the type of thing in really messed up television shows like Dexter or, or Breaking Bad, if you'd been like, this is what happened. This is the plot we're going to write in. People and would be like, that shit is no, no, no. We, we we can't put that in there. It's too unrealistic. I couldn't, and then you hear this. I would think that was like a lie, like a fabricated story you just told me, Ryan. I'd never heard that story before. Watch, it is going to in fact be fabricated. Oh, I, I, I 
to build this whole thing up around it. Not. Nothing. I hope. Do you want the story? I got the story. Yeah, what's the story? Red. He was on a podcast, the JJ Reddick podcast, and uh, oh, featured oh, Mo Bamba. This was in uh, August 16, 2018, around that time. He said he was doing a photo shoot for MrPorter.com in New York City, and when the shoot was over, the company had a car to come pick him up. Reddick was with his wife and her twin sister at the time, and he and his sister-in-law both had bags to put in the back of the Escalade they were going to be riding it. When Reddick went to put his bag in the back, he said he noticed a smell in the car, but it wasn't distinct or very obviously something disgusting. After driving through the city for a bit, the car came to a stop at a corner, at which point Reddick's sister-in-law, Kylie, tapped him on the shoulder to tell him there was a person in the back of the car with them. <laughs> there was a blanket over what appeared to be a cage or a box in the back of the car, and she was saying that there was a per living person inside. From there, Reddick said he, his wife Chelsea, and Kylie got out of the car after asking the driver to pull over. Reddick says when he exited the car, he saw the blanket move, and he told the driver there might be something in the back of the car before going to his and Kylie's bags from the back. After Reddick got the bags, the driver went to the back to check if there was something there, and then there's, I guess, a transcription of what they said. And then uh, the trio took a cab back home, reached out to a car agency and the police. That's what they wait till they got home to reach to the car. Like, to the, I guess. I think right there is where you call the yeah, door. You might not want to let the guy drive away yeah, at that you point. Know. You're like an NBA player. I mean, you got your wife, you got your sister. Like, I'm I'm saying, you probably that, don't want to do anything because something I'm can happen to them. Call them right now. I didn't say stop him. Yeah. yeah. I said I get that your wife, your sister's yeah, yeah. there. I'm saying call or or let's beat his ass. Attempt to detain him. If he tries to drive uh, away, make no, sure you see, take a photo. Problem. No, take a photo of a license plate. I'm not trying to get don't shot detain. out there. <laughs> don't det in that situation, don't detain. You knock out. I forgot it was a cage. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to club somebody right there. Because you, you don't know what this shit. dude may do. be about. Yeah. You don't want him to be kind of alert. You want him to be out cold. Was this guy like late to the car agency job or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Crap, I can't do both. Exactly All right. So Get a blanket a over. Terrible multi -task. To try to take it out of something terrible where it could be sex trafficking. It could just be like. That was kinky his, play? Yeah. You know. I guess there's a whole dark world. I mean, internet. if it's consensual, that's true too. But why would you bring your work into that? Like you said, he's late. <laughs> I want you to put both. me in a cage while you work. The, some of the role playing, yeah. Little fear and danger. Did anything come out of it? Did they say that the person was found? Or yeah, I need to know that before we can laugh about this. Oh my! God. Oh, you've laughed enough. <laughs> <laughs> you've right, had your right. sight over there grinning the whole time. <laughs> it's terrible. Couldn't, That's what Brian imagine. brings to the show. I couldn't imagine it. Straight Could for you care. imagine like opening Straight up a car door and somebody's just there? I'm like, what the fuck? Shackled or something? Yeah, I'll was, I was be shackled just like everybody else. What's like, going on yeah. here, dog? Mm -hmm. What's going on here? <laughs> Don't blame not, me. Not yeah. Sometimes shit, being right? straight always works. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck oh, is this about? You didn't, you didn't order the ultimate package? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know I did not, sir. I did not order that package. <laughs> You don't want anything like that? Oh, wow. All right. Well, see, this is what they said. Contacted by HuffPost, a New York Police Department spokesman said they were unable to locate a report on file about the incident. Wow, mm. Jason. You bogus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who said, let's find out if she's alive, Ryan. Wow, I don't care. Wow, giggling. <laughs> the company that said Reddick said arranged care? the car did not immediately respond to a question from HuffPost asking for the name of the car service. The FBI press office also did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Oh. Mm. Trying to bust toss me. <laughs> that don't sound right. This is so crazy. There's nothing you I'm can so do dick. but either cry or, or smile. And I just want her to be okay. This is one of those times where the fabric of the universe rips and you're just like, oh, shit. Well, I know the crazy thing that happened to me in Las Vegas. Well, two things. I almost got lost. Uh, my guys almost lost me in my bachelor party. That was number one. Number two. That's not that crazy. Well, I can get, you wouldn't actually get lost. You're a grown-ass man. No, no, no. They know you I had a there. phone. No, they, no, no, I had jumped in the pool. I didn't have a phone. I was drunk. I had jumped in the pool, so I didn't have a phone, and they lost me. <laughs> so you were just you lost where, in swim You didn't know trunks. where your hotel room was? I, they found me up under the covers eating some tacos. Where? I was somebody's room. One of our rooms. Something. So you made it. So you I made it. But they, so know what, you but, they, but they walked in like, dude, we've been looking for you. Shorty was 28 years Did old. Did you jump in with all your clothes? I was lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're grown as a grown was, ass man. I was drunk. I just <laughs> went back up in the venue. <laughs> he, he, he remembers it like his drunk brain remembered it. I was, did I'm you jump in the pool with your phone? Yeah, I did. Hmm. Uh, mm. I won't even I was, go into what happened to me in Las Vegas. That was wrong. Second thing, okay. I remember a, a lady came in cleaning a room. I was 16 years, no, 19 years old, first time I was in Vegas. And she told me a story about the, clip, the Crips and the Bloods down there. And I was like, whoa, I didn't know that was there, but lady, that's a lot of information. You know the Crips <laughs> and the Bloods was in Las Vegas? 19, I didn't know that. 
not 19. You I yourself didn't. here. This is what you do. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew Little Rock, Arkansas. No, yeah. I knew Los Angeles. No, West Coast, basically. West, oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't put the two and two together. But yeah, there, that it's more. You do better with where they're not true than where they are. They are like all right. right. A Massachusetts man was uh, being attacked by two pit bulls when his neighbor grabbed a crossbow mm. and tried to intervene. But Say a crossbow? Yeah, but apparently struck and killed the man instead. <laughs> Sounds about right. Investigators believe the neighbors, listen, look, check out Jason, believe the neighbors <laughs> heard a commotion Wednesday afternoon and called the Adams Police Department. Officials with the Berkshire County District Attorney Office Ooh. said in a statement, the neighbor could hear somebody screaming for help saying, please shoot the dogs. Berkshire. Fucking <laughs> oh, shit, I hit him. Listen, he wasn't expecting a crossbow. <laughs> The neighbor grabbed his crossbow and fired, striking one of the pit bulls uh, in the scruff of the neck, Harrington said. Right. The arrow then went through a closed door and hit the victim while he was trying to barricade himself from the dogs, Harrington said. Fuck! Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Did he have so the he, super mega crossbow? He hit the dog with the bow. I mean, with the arrow. And then it, it went, went through, through the, the door. Neck, it went through the door and it hit him. Okay, I'm assuming That's this is a, a pretty and close range. And killed him. Guys, Damn. Guys. Yeah. I'm not a hunter, but I at least have seen enough of like I've videos where like they're taking down deer at like right. football field lengths with these things. Yeah, like the fact right. that he shot him and he was his neighbor, I'm not imagining if it's it was, going through a door that they're shooting from like across probably, two fields yeah. that are their mutual no, he's yards. Probably, he's, he's like probably close. He's probably ten feet away, if not a little bit more or less. Yeah. And yeah. Shit. Did it say where it hit him? Oh, continue. A child was in a nearby room at the time and was unharmed. Police had received multiple 911 calls about the ongoing pit bull attack. Responding officers found the two dogs, uh, which both had a history of being aggressive, engaging in a volatile confrontation, uh, uh, according to prosecutors. The animals then came at officers. Of course, you know the officers going to say that. So the police used their weapons Shoot to neutralize them. them. Mm -hmm. It's like, the, the dog's got a gun! <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I know a cop who would shoot a dog. Ahead, Both man. dogs were killed by the police. Uh, the death of the resident identified as 27-year-old Joshua uh, mm. Jadusing appears uh, uh, accidental, uh, prosecutor said. The neighbor is co cooperating. No charges are expected. So wait. they First of all, they heard things, right? They heard the dogs on the 911 call, so we know that the living person in this isn't making it up. Right. No. It, 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 they said both, the adults were owned by the victim, okay. but also getting to your point, uh, the guy has a license for the crossbow, which he used for hunting. So it was a hunting. Oh yeah, and the yeah. Berkshires. I mean, oh, we're not. Yeah. Let, let's re, uh, just for clarity. Berkshires is Western rural Massachusetts, more like yeah, 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 Vermont, yeah. New Hampshire than Boston. Right, right. Oh so yeah, it's, just for it's, everybody out there thinking out there. about what you're visualizing. Yeah, it's like it's like the it's like yeah, exactly what you're saying. The country. Yeah, that's it. Uh, well, I was getting ready to say, as I will hold the the um the owners of the pit bulls responsible. And, and I will share a little personal info here. Everybody knows that I cannot stand dogs. No, it's not crazy. really the animals itself, but it's the owners. And people. You trying to say you scared of, you scared a cookie? You trying to say something about me? No, no, no. This goes Indirectly. way beyond you. <laughs> this, go, this goes way beyond you. <laughs> okay. You're not even worth the time. <laughs> Everybody else, no. get out of the way. This is between the two of them. Big man, lick your damn. But this wait, goes, stop. This goes. Hold on. What? I got to intervene. I'm sorry. What? I had a dream about Cookie. I didn't tell you last week. Oh wow. Oh, yeah, I meant to this. Listen, I'm a this. This needs to come out on air. Okay, okay. Whoa. It was the whole clique was together. You let's just say you were kind of where Sid was, but further back. Kyle was sitting next to me. You were talking. You and Kyle was talking shit, and you told Cookie to sit Kyle. <laughs> To sit, what? Sick. Get him. Oh, get him, boy. Yeah. But listen, Cookie wouldn't go, so you lifted her up and kind of heaved her. <laughs> listen, after you heaved her, she took off. The bitch, bit, right? the bitch bit me. <laughs> I said, what the fuck, D? She bit me. She bit me like three times, right? You was like, hey, I said, what the fuck about? Then you said something about when my lip was swelling up. That oh, that's whoa. What, you was like, something about my, I was like, something about my lip swelling up. He was like, that ain't got nothing to do with that dog. You got herpes. I said, <laughs> I said, why is you trying? I said, the dog bit me. Then you going to tell these lying, tell these people I had herpes? What the hell were you eating that I night? I want to call you that day. What the and hell? You, I wish you would have. I was going to call you that day. Oh, my God. And be like, what the hell is going on? And why did you send Cookie, why did you send cookie on Cal, but she went after me? <laughs> D, she bit me. She, huh? she bit me. She, she nipped me. Then she bit me like two good times on my head. And he did was like, whatever. I was like, what the fuck? You got herpes, motherfucker. <laughs> That's the basically. 
Only I win. Dirty D. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Even in world. your dreams. All right, Sydney, please continue. Oh, now, my God. Bob, what I was getting away to say was this This is a, in, in general. Not, yeah, yeah. It's not a personal. I know, I know, I know. It's not personal. I know. But uh, I'm not the world's greatest advocate for animals, but I don't So want... you root for Mike Vick? <laughs> no, wow. I do not. He was no, like, I do not. Wow. Yes, Mike Vick. <laughs> no, I do not. Yes, do that shit. No, I do not. The system harming <laughs> another <laughs> brother. He's the only person who watched that Mike Vick thing root for Mike Vick. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Kill them. But Sydney's got a tear at the <laughs> exactly. end. Exactly. What could have been? <laughs> Shoot that motherfucker. Shoot him, Michael. Damn, FBI. <laughs> Find the real criminals. <laughs> you see them dogs? Look at them. Oh, they got evil and They ain't nothing. <laughs> but the, the, oh, and, uh, from my perspective, animals are like little kids. You, uh, they do what they, the, the, they're, they're, yeah, they do what their owners let them do or not yeah, do. Yeah. yeah. And I, my anger really goes goes towards uh, animal owners because everybody does not like your pets the same. I and mean, there are a lot more people yeah. like me that don't like animals at all. Oh, yeah. I'm like uh, I'm like anybody else. At don't all? invade my space. I won't invade yours. Yeah. It's like, oh, what up, you lick them on it? So I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> everybody doesn't like your <laughs> and, dog and, and, just and like so, you do. And so many words. Fuck your dog. <laughs> you know, D, you dog. could do a better job controlling <laughs> cooking. In people's I don't dreams. invade your space. Don't, but I didn't know people be out here invading all these animal spaces like that. He told that dog, I don't invade your motherfucking space. <laughs> Ken, but your subconscious does. Uh, uh, fuck you. Fuck your dog. <laughs> wow. Boy, D. I keep telling you, man. Don't ever leave lose. them down here in the basement alone. Don't do shit to but I will, but I will say <laughs> this, though, D. Also, in, all, in all seriousness, I will say this, but yeah. these like, I'm going to clear the dog for you. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and, and I make sure cool. I, I, man. But unfortunately, not everyone is not like not like you, uh, that's D. True. And that's why I have a problem with, yeah. like, Everybody doesn't like animals, and everybody doesn't like your uh, your dog or cat or whatever the same as every, someone else. Do you like and, cats? I don't but like cats, them. I have one. Uh, <laughs> cats don't bother me, so I'm, really? I'm good. Yeah. Look, look, them motherfuckers need to watch, watch out for. They sneak in. I know. Whoa. But, but see, they can't kill Easy. you. Easy. Right. Like I said, pit bull they're, or... They'll scratch the hell out of you. Like I said, oh, pit bull or... Deep. Yeah. But still, no, like a pit, I'm, I'm a dog. My like favorite, a jilted lover. My favorite pet was a cat, but I'm a dog person. <laughs> like, I would prefer never to own a cat again. But like I'm cool Wait with minute. that. I didn't tell y'all a story about when we went to uh, uh, Galena on my birthday. I had to get the pets, round them up, right? Cookie is no problem. You tell Cookie go yeah, somewhere. Yeah, because she's just a block. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could just pick her up and just move her. She's not gonna do it. She's like she's like 70. an ottoman. <laughs> she's a seventy. All right, pound. get in there. Yeah, yeah. she's a seventy five, a seventy pound, uh, <laughs> seventy pound bulldog. She ain't gonna do nothing. The cat. The cat doesn't like me. I didn't right? even know there was a cat yeah, here. Yes, a cat upstairs. Because you got a bad energy when you come I to guess, this cat. So he, I see how you interact with he her. He saw me. He was like, fuck you. And just took off. So I had to chase this cat. The cat was like, ah, was like ready to scratch me and all kind of shit. I'm like, man, fuck you. You get in this cage. So I had to. Too much corner, aggression. Had to corner the cat in the closet. Well, like, you know what? I got you. Ass. I closed <laughs> the door. I got one of Cookie's blankets. I threw the blanket over the cat. I grabbed the cat real quick and shoved him in the cage. There you go. Dang. I didn't hurt the cat. He was all right. <laughs> yeah, she didn't. Yeah. yeah. I didn't hurt the cat. Well, as long as he's seeing somebody for PTSD. Man, getting a cat. <laughs> yeah, I think he had a little bit of PTSD. Getting a cat declawed is very inhuman. I agree, but I, I mean, wouldn't breaking be. Breaking the knuckles, listen, basically, and snatching the nails. If, no, you don't want to do if that. If the thing is attacking you while you're trying to. It doesn't to, attack. The cat doesn't. You can't do it after a certain age. You. No, no, no. But no, he attacks no. the other family members? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and that's he's cool. got the wrong energy. I, I tell him to leave that cat alone. I tell, I tell Chanel oh, and Grace. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all got a pet. That cat You have alone. somebody in your house that y'all pay for that you have to leave alone. I don't mess with that. And y'all clean as shit. I don't, I don't that don't that. add up to me. <laughs> wait, no. We don't like that. you. You don't like us, but stay here with us. <laughs> nah. I, I have been out rude. I've been out rude. Okay. I came on one day and the cat was here. Also, let's not defame D for his self-preserving tactics. It's not like he like was uh, Jason Sudeikis baby Yodaing. No, 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 that no. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. It was just, I just got the cat and put the cat in the cage. But you I mean, threw the cat. I don't know. In he was cage. a lot closer to that I than the opposite. The I couldn't throw him. I had the cat. <laughs> well, if the him. opposite is loving something with all your heart, he was a lot closer to punching yeah, baby Yoda. Based on the circumstances, though. I mean, I. I we no, you got to interact with cats differently than dogs. Met, wait, wait, you met Coco. Well, yeah, but you met Coco he treats before. it like a dog. Yeah. Oh, I, real, I, I didn't even know he had a cat. Yeah, so. Was she real big when you met her? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, our first cat that we had, it was like a 20-pound cat. 
and she was fat. But I she, like a fat cat. Yeah, and yeah, and it you, doesn't. They I like a cat a little smaller than Coco. They don't do nothing though. A little smaller than what Coco. Because I remember when my cat, who I said was my, my best pet, I remember he had got fat at one point, but then he got for the murder of his life, he was slim again. Okay. But when he was a little chunky, I was like, I like you. I fuck with your harder. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, because they don't do too much. They can't they run from you that much. They, they cool. cool. They cool cats. You know, They're not a, as agile. Yeah, not as agile. They can't run away from you that much. They like a little, 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 little small dog. You need my, to work on your right. relationship. My cat was a dog. He he used to run to the door like a dog. He protected the house. He wasn't Man. on that funny acting cat shit. Come on, yeah, man. it stays away. No, he, hides in the corner. Yeah, yeah, he was like a dog. He was like a dog. I'm into dog. I'm into cats that don't have cat like personalities as well. You got to be a special cat. Yeah, special. No, cat. no, no. This cat no cat, cat personalities. personalities. Why pay for that? Like his mother. Look, we had the cat's mother. She only let me touch her when I was crying. Any yeah. other time, she would try to sk- scratch the. Yeah, because you guys. Uh, it, they Is did the a study energy? on the, both cats and dogs. Okay. They go after the personality of the homeowner. Most people leave cats isolated and alone, so they don't like to be by people. At a young age, if you start with them and you are, you know, you have to do it a little bit differently than dogs. But once you get them to like you, they're we just going to be the, like dogs. We, we got this cat. We went to a wedding, and I don't know why my grandmother did this. It was one of my mother's friends, I feel like, but my grandmother took me and my brother and we were there, and this lady that lived a few houses down from wherever we were at was like, hey, I got some kittens. Mm. She goes and brings this cat. I think we named her Sheba. We have Sheba. Sheba runs away. This is years later. She, we grew up in the house. She grew up with us. She was, ne- she was never nice. She grew up in the house with nice people. She was never nice. Well, she she's never also a she. Personalities. That's a little yes. bit of a, a role. Oh, you're sexist. You, hey. you, you <laughs> feminine sexist, you. <laughs> it's different with cats. But then Sheba That's ran, what they all say. Sheba ran away, and I remember we had just bought a new car, and we went to go gro- shopping at Sears. And uh, we came home this night, yeah. and right there was um, Sears, right here on Stony Island, right right off Stony Island, on 79th. 79th, yeah. We were, were walking in the house, and Sheba had been gone for like a month. Sheba was fat, and right by the door, my daddy said, that damn cat pregnant. Yeah. And we was like, can she bring her back in the house? And he, at first he was like, no. We was like, please, can she come back home? And he let her come back in. Uh, we were in Inglewood over at my mother's house when Sheba had babies. Sheba had babies, and we went and picked out our babies, the one that we liked. We Mine's, I named them Fall Guy 1. My brother named his Fall oh, Guy 2. <laughs> and then it was this white one, because Sheba was basically more all white. She has gray on her. Uh, my grandma liked, because my grandma didn't have any melanin in her. She, uh, We named that one Cry Baby, because that one <laughs> cried all the time. But anyway, so my dad ended up, I guess, like in Fall Guy 1, we named him Morris. We kept Fall Guy 1, and that was my, ended up, that was my, my best yeah. Cat, and that was my cat. He was a dude, but he was a he was a real. He buried right around the house now. If nobody dug him up, right, by, right three four house? blocks around from on the side of the house by the front door. We buried him. One morning I was going to UPS because my brother told me he's like, yeah, Morris about to die. Because at that point I I just come back from school. I started training Morris like we weren't on the same uh, team because I was a teenager that was in the streets. Now Morris couldn't he couldn't lay on my bed no more, and he damn sure couldn't lay on my couch with my clothes. I was like, "Get your ass down! <laughs> like you cannot shed on this shit." But my brother was like, "Yeah, Morris about to die." And the morning, woke up in the morning, like, "Yeah, Morris is dead." Damn. Well, we buried him on the side of the house. Anyway, California surgeon and his girlfriend and his girlfriend are in a state of disbelief, disbelief days after prosecutors announced they would drop charges accusing the couple of drugging and raping women. Dr. Grant, I believe his name is uh, Robino, or Rob Chino, it's definitely a Cajun name, and uh, Sharice Riley of Newport Beach appeared Friday in a tape interview on ABC News, and this is from CNN, Good Morning America. I feel like I finally woke up from a bad nightmare, Riley said. I feel like I could breathe again. Still can't believe this happened, uh, uh, Robino said. The couple repeatedly denied accusa- accusations since charges were filed in 2018 uh, when the previous Orange County district attorney said that they uh, they used their good looks and charm, they're a good-looking couple, to lure a woman home and then rape them while they were unconscious or semi-conscious. <laughs> Robino and Riley again denied the accusations on GMA. Robino said he claimed that he had an appetite for sex with unconscious women was hurtful. He said, I mean, I have sisters, I have, uh, I have a mom. He said, that, that's like disgusting. Orange County's uh, District Attorney Todd Spencer decided to drop the charges this week after a team of prosecutors reviewed the case and concluded there was insufficient evidence to reprove the allegations beyond a reasonable doubt. Spencer apologized to both the couple and their accusers, saying this office couldn't ensure a fair, tri- fair trial or meet the burden of proof. <laughs> the former District Attorney, uh, Tony uh, Rakitis, uh, said he believed the accusers at the time he left office. So a couple was drugging and raping. And they, yeah, they said the couple uh, lived their lives in shambles since the accusation took place. Damn. 
He did. They did say this. Uh, the couple acknowledged they have a swingers lifestyle, but are adamant. Uh, they adamantly reject the possibility that any women they had sex with uh, in a relationship were liberated, uh, too liberated to consent. And they also, when they reviewed it, uh, the prosecutors they said that they didn't have evidence that any woman on there was unconscious. <clears throat> they just like to, they like to get busy with they busy. I, I guess so, but I don't know anybody who wanna. You know, no drug folks. If you can't get it. The right way, don't don't get it. I was just getting ready to say, you excuse my French, but if you're that desperate for pussy, you got mental issues big time. You really do. Ooh, you, you you got you got a I don't like drug people Brown and, coming that hard. <laughs> that sorry. was a hard pee. I don't right like there. I don't like Sydney Brown. That's not Sydney level. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think you stoop too low, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you have I try your to keep standards. My third place of foul language on this you, show, okay? You, but then, <laughs> uh, but then I don't think he's that desperate for he he's breaking sand to the beach. He just wants more sex. But you got to drug people. You got issues. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. Drug people. I agree with you. Yeah. Agree. Like D said, you can't get it uh, the normal way on your own. Yeah, you got man. issues. You got to look inside yourself. You don't want to do that. Right. That's that's something else. And karma is a bitch is going to come back to bite them. You know what? I don't hear too many stories, and maybe this is probably more prevalent than we probably know, is couples bringing in women, and probably are, or men, drugging them and raping them. I guess it wouldn't be too far. I mean, maybe the story isn't that far fetched of what actually happens. I don't know. People, the couples do their thing. Yeah, yeah. This, 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 I mean, swinging is one thing, but is this right, the this dark is way web, different than swinging? Is this the dark web episode of the flip with the a- abduction that may or may not be sex trafficking and <laughs> or like a role play? <laughs> and then with this, like they're swingers or maybe they're criminals. Wait a minute, hold on. You know the what dude? the hell is happening What's today? I don't play? know. That sounds like a regular flip to me. No, that's true. What's the actor uh, that's on Silicon Valley? The lead actor. Oh, what is his name? Oh. Look, see if you look him up for me, right? But the bearded one. Up. Huh? The Who did one? that annoying Verizon commercial? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, what about him? He uh, came out and said that swinging saved his marriage. Mm. Him and his wife was having <laughs> some issues, and then they started swinging and said everything was back to normal. Back to normal, but you said that you showed that to Chanel. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> I want to know what his motivation for saying I that to know, I really was. want to know who did it benefit more. Who who was the swing? Ooh. And Thomas, also, I wonder Thomas Middleton. Thomas Middleton. Yep. I wonder also yep. who what is there is there a particular uh uh preference sexual wise to the swing or oh, is it open know. to it, both sexes? I got an interesting one here for you. So. I think that's two different types of swingers. I bet they are. <laughs> you know how like there's sex Within, so there's probably you, two different. Things. You know these advice columns, right? You always get the they yeah. tend to be sexual questions usually, or relationship questions, but usually sexual. One crossed my purview, I think, from my Facebook feed. I don't remember. The setup was this: my wife wants to expand our relationship and date women. She says I can too. Dot dot dot. But only other men. <laughs> and it was Whoa. like, so your wife's encouraging you to be bisexual, but you're not, so she can be bisexual. Like, it's a weird, I didn't actually read what the advice columnist said to this one about, wow. like, I really caveat. needed you to read what the advice columnist said to that bullshit. <laughs> I hope, it, yeah, I hope it was like, <laughs> but no, I, like, what? Like, well, don't, like, maybe he doesn't want to be with other people and you can still go be with other women, too. It was like, episode... Don't make him be with men. It was episode of Tam- uh, Tamron Hall. I would hope not, Jason. Yeah, I mean... If I you want to be with me, you got to be with a man. <laughs> <laughs> and you going to like it. No, it was an episode of Tamron Hall. It was, it was a couple on there, a black couple, because typically just in the community, you don't hear too many black people talking about, oh, yeah, we swingers, although it's... I mean, they don't talk about it. No, okay. It's not talking no, about openly. Just a general that's rule. A it seems like I think white that's people with all... talk too much is the, nah, thing, the oh. thing we're getting from so this. What? I don't think white people really talk about swinging, do they? I just gave you a star who came out and said he's white. You have any black people coming right, out? Right, and, and they're keeping the photos. So like, one? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> one is the sample size? Oh, wait, 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 who is, <laughs> who is, who is, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You know whoever was in that, uh, that, 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 get, advice column. that advice column was not one of us, brother. <laughs> two. <laughs> one to two. Are you sure about that? Also, 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 who was that female actress, I think in Star Trek, who was married to the gubernatorial Six, seven candidate? Six, nine, seven of nine. Uh, uh, seven of nine. She was on because I know. Remember Star Trek Voyager? I didn't watch Star Trek. No, no, no. You watch. You knew her. She was part Borg. She was very attractive. She's and married the, to the, the governor's candidate, yeah, gubernatorial she, candidate. Yeah, she was she, part they Borg. Came, photos oh. came out because they were yeah. swingers, and then he didn't get elected. And I forget who, what reprehensible person oh, became our governor right. because of that. Who? What, what was it? What was he? Was it Illinois? Became, was it Illinois? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. talking about Ryan? Yeah. No, this was. 
This was Seven and Nine's husband oh, from Star Trek Voyager. I do remember that and story. Yeah, they, yeah, I remember that. And then yeah. we ended up with one of our many and illustrious governors who went to jail for actual crimes because we no, acted like the sexual was? crime was a real crime. Who went, it was Quinn. No, who was before Blago that went to jail? Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. So, yeah, Ryan. it's, it's Rodney Ryan, yeah. yeah. Yeah, George Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, I, actually, it was, this was not George Ryan. Wasn't it was a guy this guy's last name governor. Ryan oh. too? Coincidentally, I want to say, like I want to say it was. I, I want to say it was. And it was no, Mel B is a swinger. Well, shout out to Mel B. Mel B's mixed. Oh, that <laughs> disallowed. Oh, She's still black. Oh, my you can't use the mix for and you also, and against yeah, you when it works your favor. The one drop rule only you, happens sometimes. You know, you know she recognizes black women. <laughs> no, no. A, a couple also, of she felt her husband forced her into that. <laughs> what is he? Is he white? We don't know what he was. He, Wait, was, he looked like Harry Belafonte's son. Who? <laughs> Mel B's uh, husband. A husband that used tried to the one tried to uh, frame her. I mean, tried to uh, blackmail. Blackmail. I think oh. this was before. Was, was he after? Was, was he after Eddie, Eddie Murphy? After Eddie, 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 Eddie This Eddie. is when she was on The Voice, and she said this is part of yeah. the reason she started using a lot of. Yeah. She swung though. That's one. No, no, no. It Half was a, one. no. I'm gonna give you a black. That's couple. like could you use Barack? <laughs> no, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a black couple. So there was a couple on Tamron Hall, and they was talking about it, and they was flat out and open with it, and it was interesting part because you don't hear about as many sisters. The the woman was the one who initiated. Like, yeah, I don't, don't say, they always term. have to be though? That's what they say a lot of times. Woman, yeah, you either have to be a manipulative. Listen, jerk, honey, I'd like to start to swinging, trick her, trick her into doing. But no, nah, she was the, the one. Woman, she was they behind. Say usually, and they say usually the woman gets to choose too. Imagine if you tried to go to Chanel and no, suggest this idea. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> it would only happen if she suggested the idea. I don't even know if I. It's not saying you would do it, yeah. but it would only happen if she suggested. Yeah, probably. Probably. What's his problem? <laughs> yeah. Listen, honey, I was thinking. You can't even keep a cat out the house. <laughs> they are a very attractive couple. I'd love to get with her, and I'd love to see you get with him. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't. No, it's not going to happen. But Oof. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, there are so little, it's a, there it's aren't a, a lot of men thing. out there that have the leverage of like I'm gonna leave you so. unless, and then actually be like, you know, I'm not decided end with yourself. Fine. Yeah. I really like to swing, yeah. so let's start doing that. Just key parties. Ooh. I had a buddy of mine who actually was messing around with this one woman, and uh, they they went to a party, and he walked in, and it was a key party. He, he walked out. He's like, "Man, uh, like I ain't doing that." He's like, I, he's, "I'm I'm afraid something else might happen." I'm like, okay, all right. Well, I mean, hold up. If he's just messing around with some woman, and that's not his woman. No, it's not. But she and invited I'm, him. And I'm going to the party, and they not they not banging my chick. That's just my friend. Give me one of y'all's. Right. At least scout the Go party. Ahead. Uh, you, you. She she doesn't belong to me. What what, what what's the famous line from uh, on that Roscoe Dash song by uh uh Wale when he's like, fight over who? These bras ain't mine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he was not comfortable. He walked up out of there. I mean, sometimes you got I could get being uncomfortable. What if that's the Victoria's Secret yeah, model key party? Did he say or one of those? No, he was. Oh, well, were they? Well, I mean, that's what they was initially. That's what was going down. Yeah. I mean, because the key part I thought usually is, and I'm not to say they weren't mingling, but you take the keys, someone else's keys, and go to their right, home. Right, right, right. right. Not home. No, like no, no, John no. Wayne Gacy not home. It's kind of like you just pick it out. It's like, oh, who he? Yeah, it's just an identifier. This. It's like putting in an yeah. ID if you yeah. want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's all it is. Hmm. You ain't leaving no. I got the Toyota. Yeah, like ooh. Oh, you get me, baby. Yeah. Who's coming? On I got the bins. It's not all on our sheets. Who did you bring home, honey? <laughs> was this Jack again? It was random. <laughs> swing it, swing a lifestyle is it's it, it's it's fascinating at the same time. It's kind of like man, that's that's oh, it feels a little overwhelming. Is that what you're going for? I don't know, boy. Wow, you said this reminds me of you that. Said that like you know, that's a whole different <laughs> ball game. You said that like you work for us. You said that like you think it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, but uh, you'll no. be fine. No, remember that uh, you're, Seinfeld. You're just spending today trying to besmirch me, Ken. No, no just just like, remember that Seinfeld when that like roommate and he was like trying to get with the roommate and the other one wanted to have the threesome mm -hmm. and he had to oh, break yeah. up with her. He's like, "Hey, what happened with Sandy? I forgot all about it. Did you call him? Yeah, I did. In fact, I went over there. <laughs> so what happened? Did she throw you out? Huh? No, actually, she took it pretty well. <laughs> so what happened? She's into it. <laughs> into what? The menage. <laughs> and not only that, she just called me. She told me she spoke with the roommate, and the roommate's into the menage, too. <laughs> That's unbelievable! Oh, it's a scene, man. 
Do you ever just get down on your knees and thank God that you know me and have access to my dementia? What are you talking about? I'm not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it? What do you mean you're not gonna do it? I can't, I'm not an orgy guy. Are you crazy? This is like discovering plutonium by accident. Don't you know what it means to become an orgy guy? It changes everything. I have to dress different. I have to act different. I have to grow a mustache and get all kinds of robes and lotions. And plus I need a new bedspread, new curtains. I'd have to get thick carpeting and weird old lighting. Of course, I'd have to get new friends. I'd have to get orgy friends. No, I'm not ready for it. I forgot about that Stop, episode. A menage yeah, a trois. That's good. No, 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 man. That's a, that's a different lifestyle, man. Yeah, really? No, you don't man. think so? Nah. I love to interview some swingers. How is that not interesting? Not swinging. Well, threesome or swinging. We're talking about No, I'm talking about swingers. Okay. No, threesomes, no. Swingers, that's an interesting lifestyle, man. I would love to, like, interview a I couple people. I think if you have a... If you have it sounds a, like you have a little bit of a yeah. pining yes, behind that. Yes, you keep hearing... <laughs> no! You no, know your no. D. No, no, no. I see no. you know it's your The doctor's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a curiosity in me. It's like, I want to talk. Paging Dr. D? I want to talk to him. Like, okay, like. I want to talk to him. Yeah, not. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think that Dr. D <laughs> lives in, like, a portion How of your you brain. Is yeah. it Dr. D or are we in Dirty D territory? I think it's yeah. Dr. Dirty D. He lives a portion of the brain, and it's no, like a hospital. No. Paging Dr. D, <laughs> we're talking swingers. You're needed <laughs> in exam room three. It's fascinating. See, I always felt like the Dirty D persona was, like, crazy uncle, though. Nah. No, nah, they ain't under. He's not a doctor. I think it's up to the beholder. Oh. You can keep oh. your dirty D however you like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he likes it. All right. Two weeks in a row, y'all talking about it. No. <laughs> You're changing the name. This is my house. Virginia is one step closer to ending its tradition of honoring Confederate generals. Oh, that's nice. About time. This week, the Virginia House voted to strike uh, Lee Jackson Day from the list of state holidays. The holiday observed on the Friday before Martin Luther King's birthday in January. What the fuck? Yeah. They do this the Friday before Martin it's Luther King's birthday? Virginia, Luther? man. Honors Robert E. Lee and Thomas Stonewall Jackson as defenders of the cause. Both men owned slaves and fought to preserve slavery in the U.S. It is uh, It is in a place that the House bill, uh, excuse me. It is it in its place. The House bill proposed that the state replaces its election day the first Tuesday uh, after the first Monday of November instead. Uh, Governor Ralph Northam included the measure in a twenty twenty. Blackface. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, legislative proposal. Um, if the election day becomes a state holiday, he said it will be easy for easier for Virginians to vote. Uh, we need to make mm. election day a holiday. He said mm -hmm. the state of Commonwealth speech last week, last month. Uh, we can do it by the, by ending the Lee Jackson holiday that Virginia holds. Uh, it commemorates a lost cause. It's time to move on. Facts. Uh, several states, cities have made election day a civic holiday, including Delaware, Hawaii, Kentucky, and New York State. New yeah, New York. Interesting, um, dude. The fact that's like somebody like over here having a Hitler statue up. I mean, again, I know it's people equivalent. can say, but then you can say, well, that those values that the Germans or the Nazis held aren't innate to the s southern half of this country and what they were fighting for. Right. And I'll give you that. But still, losers, they lost. They were going to break the Union. You don't. Fine. Even in, with your example, if in Germany they were celebrating Hitler's And you get in trouble for that. Yeah, it's you against get, the law. Yeah, you yeah. get in trouble. So yeah. if you did that in Germany, it'd You'd be, be the trouble. same thing be as the, the South. Yeah. The other part of though is like, man, how petty are you? Friday before Martin Luther King Day. Yep. And also, get over was it. Was it his birthday? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Martin Luther King's birthday didn't get established as a national holiday until like that. 86. No, 80-something. 80 86. That's when uh, Stevie Wonder. Yeah, they said. Birthday. Well, well, his song came out in 82. The official holiday was until 86. 86? So that means. Coretta went for it in like 78, 79. Right. Yeah, yeah. It didn't get passed right away. It took years. It took, it took years. So mm -hmm. think about that. In the mid-80s, mm -hmm. somebody was like, unless, I don't know if I'm wrong the Friday here, before Martin Luther King's Day. Were they already day. celebrating his birthday before? Or then it just, or was this another issue? Or kind of like, oh, civil rights. Let's put up this monument of uh, Robert E. Lee. When did they when did they start celebrating his birthday? Before or uh, like around the same time? Well, you or want what? some really cold shit? Send Martin Luther King's birthday is the fifteenth, and 15th. always has fallen on Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That Friday, more frequently than not, is close to the actual birthday rather than Martin Luther King Day, the mm. actual the celebration. celebration. Right, right, yeah, right, right. Because that's usually later in the month because of the stipulation that comes on a Monday. Motherfucker. Yeah, petty. Like I said, mm -hmm. yeah, you know. What, Do you man? think that people are actually celebrating his day? 
Because it was just oh, a I state somewhere. holiday, right? Some were. I guarantee you some were. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not disputing yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, like, no one really cared about it until they were like, we're taking it away. What? This is an outrage. Oh, fuck that. You know what? You know what I've been thinking about? Like, oh, you got something. Well, I just wanted to clarify. No, for go ahead. Go for the, it. The earliest possible Martin Luther King Day would actually be Monday, January 15th, the day he was born. Mm-hmm. The latest is January 21st. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. The national holiday, it'll follow on my birthday. My birthday is the 19th. Yeah. And sometimes it'll follow. Right, it's the third or Monday. My, or my yeah. dad is the 17th, yeah. and it's actually on the 17th. Yeah, and sometimes. my grandfather was born on the 18th, and it's off than that. Yeah, it's, yeah. So it'll be around that time. But you know, I've been, think, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. I want to get y'all opinion on this. Uh oh. <laughs> Ken, I don't like Ken's reaction. <laughs> is it a. It, it, will it ever become a time in this country when black folks straight up left? Yeah, when some blow up. And no, it ain't got to be blow up. I'm talking about into no. the actual state of it. Like, what if somebody really rich, like uber, uber rich, went over back, back to Africa and was like, you know what? I'm going to establish a country. I'm going I'm to not establish a country. I'm going to like really like build up this country. They did that already. Like, yeah, not, 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 I'm talking about now. I'm talking about now. But in what's this the era. difference between now and back then? Well, now more black folks got a little bit of money to actually go. I'm sure they. I'm sure they would have gave, given us money to go if we all. That, I don't yeah, think so. A lot, a lot of them. A lot of them. No. Ready. I don't think so because a lot of them still use us as sharecroppers and they still use us in the sense of making we money. Had, there were we, people they, fundraising they, for that yeah, back it then. It was no, no. I'm not saying all, but I'm saying some still this, want us. No, 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 no. I'm just asking. Will there ever come a time? It's kind of like you know what we need. To who think about this? Who first of all? What else is happening here? Because if you're saying that someone wealthy <laughs> has built their own land, and I'm nah, supposed to trust no, nah, that somebody... Shangri La is going to be safe, it ain't gotta be Shangri La. And regardless, <laughs> I know the devil over here. What if? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It was some established, like very wealthy black person that's American, and was like, you know what? That's what I thought we were I'm, saying. That's what I'm talking about. I was, who says I trust them because they're I, black? Listen, I'm just saying. Would you want to go back? I right, visit. First of all, this is the thing too. I'm what, asking the question. I got this is one thing, and it's just been popping in my head. I don't know if I've included in this or not, but I wanted to. Um, it, we didn't do. You want to do that thing? You never sent me the link to that article about the uh, Mexican guy that they oh, told I'm to sorry. go back home. Okay. So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. there was a PTA meeting, I believe, and yes, some Mexican Michigan. gentleman was pointing out some things that he didn't like, and some white man was basically yelled at him, "Go back home." Yeah, he said, and, "Well, why didn't you say in Mexico?" And the black man, you heard about this the other the day. The black yeah. man came to his defense. Mm-hmm. This is my thing, and with that. The disrespect to anybody, it, one, when you tell them to go back home, is disrespectful. When this country was supposed to be here, for if you want to come and you can lift your weight, you can come. But this is the thing. The I'm, ideal. I'm going to bring it back to us. We've been here longer than uh, probably half, if not more, than the white people that are here today. Absolutely. When you're talking about how many, the hundreds of years black people have been here, when in the 1800s you may have had Italians, Irish people, and so on and so forth come to America. You don't have the right to tell me to go home. No, no All right? Doubt. So no that, doubt. I'm, like, I am American. Like, yeah. so that, this does not to you. No, no, I know what you're saying. But the, 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 sometimes we get the, that whole thing about being going, and I'm not saying we shouldn't go back to Africa, we shouldn't invest. We should, the, 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 everyone in the diaspora, should should put back in the ass because mm-hmm. that's how it should probably come back up. But still, you're doing it from where you're at. I'm mm-hmm. this is my home that my family, my blood was spilled. My family, my family have fought in wars for mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that. So that disrespect in general is is just yeah. What that dude said was highly disrespectful. Only thing I'm asking, I get what you're saying. I yeah, what I'm you're a, saying. question I'm asking. I wonder. I don't know Jay Z like that, D. Who said it got be Jay Z? I'm just saying, bitch, you, it's only so many rich black people we can depend on. Oh, you get to do what to do? Who's you going on if Oprah do it? You know she ain't gonna let us dudes go. No. Oh, God. <laughs> that's a whole other story. Or Gail King. That's Sir, story. That's your white story. man is too much. You go back. <laughs> no, no, exactly. no, no, no. I mean, like, look at my white man. She'd be like, look at his head. You may stay. I'd be like, I mean, there's a lot of Jesus other rich motif. black people. Not to the extent of what I'm saying that they could probably do this, but I'm just saying though. I wonder will it ever become, be ever become a time when. African Americans would be like, yes. you know what? I want to just because I, I know some if people who so are from toxic, here that's went back to Africa and they live in Africa. If it's so dangerous here, yes. If things are the same, no. Like because this is what we know. You like how many people just go as a, a, a whole monolith just move to another country? Right. Well, like if everything is like equal around the world in terms of technology, and you get to a point where it's easy to move around and flow, and it doesn't matter where you live, <laughs> maybe then. 
But otherwise, like Ken saying, like there's a lot of dangers, a lot of things with Africa that are cons. Mm. They have their obvious pros as well, but no place is perfect. Yeah, very true. Rather than talking about unrealistic hypotheticals, let's throw down like actual futures here. Okay. One, climate change is real, so Africa's going to yeah, get hotter. It's hot. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But Chicago's going to get better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, only you know, problem is it's going to be underwater. But only Shit. problem is our trees. It's, I mean, it's going to be underwater. We are, I think I know you a murderer when it comes to trees. What the hell? <laughs> Especially you. What are you talking about? Y'all what have I ever done anything to a tree? Chanel, I'm grabbing my axe and going to the woods. The you cut the tree down right here next to your house right there? That tree failed. I bet it did. Damn. <laughs> after you chopped That's it down. That's what I'm about to say after you kept cutting on it. <laughs> Bring me that axe. Call grab it. I, 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 Damn you and all your kind. But no, we're it fell on top of the garage. Trees don't, um, we're going to have to have trees that are like uh, by a, like a Georgia-style trees here in 100 years because these trees, these, these oak trees aren't going to be able to live in this mm. climate. But, but the other part of that, but with all the different factors and with economies and all those things, I don't necessarily see it as a like back to Africa thing. The next like solidarity but thing many- that would be racial would be outer space, and you got that Elon Musk Fuck bullshit. Fuck out of space. Yeah. There's no air out of space. Fuck out of First space. First of all, white man, tell me about my back to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Get no. up to space. Wait, 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 I'm wait, just wait, saying, wait. like, but how many, but I don't see you guys going. But you right. don't tell me which way. <laughs> Jason, Jason, Jason. How many How many other countries and how many other, like, like Uber or whatever, or like they're, like, really investing in Africa. How I mean, throughout the centuries. China. China, China throughout the centuries, China. people go over to and and I want to I want to use that word, but no, pillage. I don't say rape, but pillage the, the, the resources, the continent of yeah. of Africa. Mm-hmm. So I mean, and, and it's still going on right now. All batteries so, for these phones. Yeah, it's yeah. still happening. So I don't know the, the the climate change. I'm with you there because Africa is is getting hit hard with yeah. it. Absolutely, absolutely. That is one thing. That's one factor. But obviously, the resources are still there because again, a whole bunch of other countries and com- and companies are going to Africa. I know they're building. Uh, trying they ain't to, going for us. I've seen this thing where they're trying to build a green line on the Sahara. Oh, really? So, like, all those countries are trying to really plant trees and stuff so that the Sahara can't continue to progress any further. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. it's an erosion thing. Yeah, yeah I think so, it's yeah. that too. Climate change. But so, yeah, no. I would visit. I want to invest. I listen. I wouldn't mind spending part. If I had the bread, I would. I would have a home. That's what I was about to say. I wouldn't mind spending half of my year there. But also, I'm an American. I put in for this. I'm gonna spend half of my year here too. But I do think we should. I think as African Americans, we should definitely try to find a way. And I don't mean this just for financial greatness, but to do something back in Africa. Yeah. But like, it's, let's say, now I want to say take letting someone else take advantage of, our, of that country. I don't mean it in that continent. But to try to do thank you and to try to do something with this beneficial for the people there, but also can help others. Like, yeah, I want to. I want to come up. I see what Akon's doing over there. Yeah, he got like a damn near whole city. Now there, maybe, he? yeah. Out of, he, Something like that? He been locked up though. Locked, locked. Yeah. They won't oh. let me out. I used to say, I used to say, I'm a I be like, this, so much permissazine in this country, eh, huh? <laughs> and polygamy. Two of my favorites. <laughs> my favorite peas. Oh, I think D's gonna be over here. He heard about the polygamy. <laughs> Dirty D. I only like swinging. He got this swinging thing he's talking about. That's the one thing. Don't I, let him bring that that swinging with the polygamy. That's the one thing I would never do. I, I one wife is more than enough. You don't want to have a bunch of wives. I'm telling y'all. But can, then you don't do it if you can afford it. Nah, man. <laughs> Mentally, you don't want that. Hey, I don't think those dudes <laughs> be stressed out, bro. <laughs> I don't know how you cannot be. They be like, shut up. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying me. This is I run the show. These it's are funny. polygamists. Yes. We want to make that clear. <laughs> do you ever watch those uh, sister that, wives shows? Damn, no, I don't. <laughs> I used to watch one when it first started with that Utah one. How, how are they? He seemed stressed. <laughs> exactly, that's my whole point. Listen, he ain't got this. His bread ain't tight enough. Did you guys hear the Martin Brodeur yeah, story? No. Remember the goalie for the New Jersey Nets? No. no. New Jersey Devils. All right, New Jersey Devils. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, he had a bunch he of had a wife, divorced her, and married her sister, oh, and had kids with both. Mm. Oh, that's just oh, that's Uncle Daddy. Holiday. Mm. I think I've heard stories about that. Yeah, that but I'm saying, Jacksons. I was like, wait, but to I your think point, I yeah. think I how horrible it would be to interact with all the parties involved. Oh, uh, what's Jermaine did that with like Randy's wife? What Jermaine really? Jackson? Yeah, he like married Jermaine Jackson. I believe married like Some sisters, Le- legit sisters. No, no, no. Jermaine Jackson took his brother's wife 
I believe. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, shit. Yeah. Which is like, how? You ain't, you think ain't about doing that family right. reunion. You ain't doing that right. <laughs> yeah. I told him, I'm, I'm taking her from you, sir. Jermaine's the one that still got the jerry curl. It's the slick. It's not a jerry curl. It's, uh, it's a slick, like a cat lick his head. Yeah, it's like. Uh, got that gray finger, gumbo it's like hair. It's finger waves, <laughs> kind of. Right. Like, how it's made up. It's like a Detroit hairstyle show. The hairstyle style yeah. or whatever. All right. Gary, Indiana. Pangolins. <laughs> this is from The Guardian. Pangolins may have spread coronavirus to humans. Yes, Wait, people. what? Pangolins. What the hell is a pangolin? It's look it up. It's an animal. I was like, is it's he like, mispronouncing penguin? It's almost like person? an armadillo. That's what I was actually about to say. It's like an armadillo. Really? It's like it's in, a far, it's in a family of an armadillo, of course. <laughs> Chinese <laughs> Chinese researchers investigating. Did you see this article? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, you didn't add it. Chinese researchers. Because I knew you had it. <laughs> investigating the animal origin of the coronavirus outbreak in China have said that the endangered pang, uh, pe- yeah, pangolin. Uh, may have been uh, the missing link between bats and humans, which we talked about in the last oh, clip. Oh, there you go. Bats are known as carriers of the latest strain of the disease, which has infected at least 31,000 people and killed more than 630 worldwide, mostly in China, where the outbreak started. A genetic analyst showed that the strain of virus currently spreading among humans was 96% identical to that found in bats. Mm. But according to Arnaud Farnat, uh, from the France Pasteur Institute, the disease did not jump straight from bats to humans. We think there's an animal that's the intermediary, uh, he told AFP. The SARS outbreak in 2002 03 involving a different strain of uh, coronavirus was transferred uh, to humans by civet, a small mammal whose meat is considered a delicacy in China. Mm. Many animals are capable of transmitting viruses to other species, and nearly all strains of coronavirus contagious to humans originated in wildlife. Several studies have shown that the bat born virus lacks the necessary hardware to latch on to human cells or cell receptors, but it's still not clear which animal is the missing link. Fanat believes the intermediary was probably a mammal, uh, possibly belonging to the badger family, going along with what we were saying earlier about it being similar to armadillo. After testing more than a thousand samples from wildlife scientists in South uh, China Architectural, I mean, Agricultural University found that the genome sequence of the virus in pangolins uh, to be 99% identical to those of the coronavirus patients that official uh, Jinchu uh, news agency reported. Mm. So people over here eating this animal, well, people eat a lot of animals, obviously. Yeah, but But. I remember just listening yesterday to a story about how China is killing all the sharks in the world. Yeah. They are destroying them. Yeah, they are. It's a good South Park episode on that. Yeah, Yeah, there is. Yeah, they they are killing a lot of sharks, yeah. So I learned something today. I thought pangolins were only one species and they just lived in Africa because I saw one video about this cute little penguin snuggling a person. Yeah, they're like a a refuge animal, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, whatever they call that. Didn't know they were tasty. Didn't know they were in, indigenous to China. Didn't know they're killing us. Uh, well, you don't. Eat well, they're anything. not killing us. They're being well, yeah. put into a blender with the thing that originating, and it's just sure. turning. Wait, into are you cocktail. still saying penguins? Pangolin. Okay, just making sure. Pangolin. That's because you said it that way. I don't know how yeah, it's that's actually what, spelled. I know. I, was, I, I, I did. The, that's how I initially oh. pronounced it, but I actually went to the dictionary to find out how to pronounce it properly. You know what they're feeding people in these hospitals? And turtle, you can get turtle at the hospital. We get turtle soup. Why do you think Shredder always says in the make, hospital he's gonna make turtle soup out of them? In the hospital, though? yeah. Is it Come a Chinese delicious? And it's not a soup. But do you know how they have meat? How much? Just a meat. But I mean, also you have to go. They may have. Are we still a talking surplus. about China? Yes. They may I'm have so a, confused. They <laughs> may have a surplus of turtles. That's just that's chicken. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, listen. I mean, based surplus on, of turtles. Based, based we, on a culture. We, I mean, we. Did, you, we why do we have, have so many chickens? Right? We, we chickens. Yeah. 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 So in the mid surplus Atl- of turtles in Dude. the mid Atlantic. You don't think they breed those turtles to eat them? They do. I don't know. So, so I mean, they breed a lot. So of the terrapin like was considered a delicacy among early Americans in colonial era. What was terrapins? Turtles, oh, tortoise. Okay. Mm-hmm. They ate them to near extinction in Baltimore and Washington D.C. in the 19th century. So now we don't eat very much turtle soup, but it was a regional staple, yeah. the identifying yeah. meal of a certain part of the country because we ate that much. Did not realize that Chinese were eating the shit out of turtles, but it doesn't necessarily it's surprise me. Just like sure. I am surprised that pangolins are indigenous to China, though. My mind is... But just like how, what, servants basically had to write in New England that they could only would eat lobster a certain amount of days because they were given lobster every day. And you would you go out and pay $40 for a lobster tail right now. Oh, yeah. Well, and think about it. They were like, no more, sir. Prisoners live <laughs> on... Maybe they didn't get the butter. Well, I don't th- think it matters. <laughs> 
Side Everything. note, I know it's quite the digression, but there's a there's a like long research that apparently it was seeking out meat of um, chimpanzees and other that that caused AIDS to happen. So it's all of our diseases are cross cultural. Don't start that one. No, all of our or cross species rather. Yeah, that's a, that's because it was the swine flu because it migrated from them to us. And we didn't, weren't prepared for it, and it was the bird flu. I mean, it those from chimps. This to this. Now we got the con- they're coronavirus. It's kind of crazy. They use spears now to hunt. You think they just started now? Yeah, I think that, it's one of those things developed. they like the joke about. We talk, but we don't talk when you guys come around. Like you saw a, a chimp a use a spear I don't think recently? chimpanzees. They do. Always they're use tools. I don't know. Use tools. I'm talking about a spear, though. Yeah, like they. They you seen hunt. this recently? The, well, like video? they. Yeah, I think there's nature you documentaries. Like it's, hey, it's a sharpened stick. I mean, he, it's well, a uh, chimp. Come on. Are they? Are they? Come on. Are they it's one thing licking a stick and putting no, it in no, the no, hole no, to no, get no. some termites. No. I'm saying, are they like having these weapons and they like chucking? Them? Yeah, they're fighting within each other, territorial. Why don't they eat each other? They oh yeah, they if you come into come their into territory, territory they do eat each other. They are cannibals. We have meat tonight. It's like that Lord of the Rings. Meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. All right. All right. The Darch. This is from the trip. The Archdiocese of Chicago has announced another round of parishes mergers that will close more than a dozen parishes around Chicagoland. Damn. In total, the Archdiocese announced 23 parishes, which will be consolidated into nine parishes. Mm. And what is the latest fallout from the Archdiocese? Renew my church plan. <laughs> All right. All parishes will embark on the next phase of renewal process to become a stronger, more sustainable pro- uh, presence for the future, capable of reaching more people in their in their work and making disciples of Jesus Christ, building communities of one another, and inspiring witness in the world around us. The Archdiocese said in release. So I looked at the Tribune I saw this yesterday, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay. And one of the things it said that they were going to do this on the east side. When it said the east side, I said, oh shit. Yeah, you know what's coming. So four parishes: Saint Bride, Our Lady of Heaven. Our Lady of Peace, my grade school, mm. and St. Philip Neri, uh, which was six blocks, five blocks south of me, on uh, is on 71st and Merle, basically. In the South Shore, Jeffrey Manor neighborhoods will be combined by July 1st. The new parish will have a single school at St. Philip Neri, which will serve as the parish church. The new parish name has not been determined. So I lose my, first of all, I've already lost my school. My school has been changed to some... Winnie Mandela School. Shout out to Winnie Mandela. Um, Some Winnie Mandela. <laughs> this Mandela lady. No, shout out to Winnie Mandela. Yeah. But uh, still, they took the school. I mean, the school's been gone, but the, the parish has still been there. Now the parish is gone. So who even knows who's going to take the church? It's going to be some other, and I'm not knocking the other religion, but like all the history, the what the church meant, and then you're going to throw us in with St. Philip Neri. It's like, oh, this is two different sets. I'm about to say that was your arrival or something. I mean, I had friends who went to St. Philip Neri. St. Philip Neri is probably the biggest one out of them, but it's hidden. Like it's on 71st, but it's like right behind 71st Street. So mm-hmm. like you can see it, but it's still not as prominent. It's huge. It's not. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. It's huge. It's, but it's basically from Clyde to mm-hmm. Ogles, well Oglesby or Luella. But uh, no, they. I mean, St. Philip Neri was was bigger. I think, uh, but still, it still hurts that. The, and these two last part. These were for, at this point. These were black Catholic schools. Yes. All right. So St. Bride. I went to St. Bride when the summer. My whole my, my teacher sent my whole class to summer school except one boy uh, because she wanted us to get better in math from seventh grade year. So we got bus from Our Lady of Peace to uh, St. Mm. Bride. Our whole class. So we was deep. Damn. Right. It was that was one of those summers where you kicked it because it was like what y'all want to do. Right, it's like right, right. this could go down any way y'all want. And I already had friends that went to Saint Saint Bride. I don't know where Our Lady of Heaven is. I believe probably it's maybe that's a, a little bit uh, south, I mean north uh, east of us. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, it's sad to see. I saw this immediately. You put this up there, and it I I actually saved it because I want to read about this. Yeah, because um, it's different. But where I grew up, it's something similar is happening where they've only got one priest for like four communities and they got to drive around. Mm. And um, it's just weird because, like you said, there's so much history. Like people emigrated from another country, didn't have a lot of money, and then put all of their money into erecting these granite churches that look mm-hmm. like they belong in Europe, yeah. but on a smaller scale. Yeah. And now the diocese and the archdiocese, because it's actually the diocese Joliet where my family is out. At um, 
doesn't care about that stuff. Doesn't care about family lineage. Doesn't care about power of place. They just want efficiency because they don't have enough priests. But it's their fault because they couldn't clean up their own mess. That's the point. That's what I was going to go to. That's what I was going to go to. Yeah, because a lot of people are so turned off by the Catholic Church. We get blamed. We get the punishment. Absolutely. And I mean, I say that as somebody with the legacy and the heritage and the affection for it, but without the theology because it's complicated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But still doesn't mean it doesn't hurt to see these. Still, yes. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not Happened flawed. to me in my grade school. Going, I was uh, Sacred Heart on 71st of May. And this is when I was going to third or fourth grade. And I mean, this church was magnificent. Yeah. Right in the middle. Is that considered Inglewood? 71st Street? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe like the southern part of Inglewood. Uh, but this church was, was outstanding. Yeah. And it was so sad. I'm leaving. I'm going to fourth grade. But it was so sad to leave that school in that parish because that's really all I knew. That's, that's all close, I knew back then. Yeah. Oh, y'all deserve to go. Oh, what see, the hell? Uh, that was the other thing. Because after real quick, because after said she was like, "See, y'all heathens don't go to church," and I was like, "That's because they're fucking kids." But one, I brought it to her because her grandmother taught at St. Lawrence, and that school, the high school, um, no, the oh, grammar school. school. Okay. And it's funny. My favorite pastor, he left us to get to take over St. Lawrence. He was a junior pastor, and he was, we used to call him Jesus because that's how I used to look. Father O'Reilly. And he was he was cool. Man, every school has a one. You didn't have Father O'Reilly. Like Jesus. No, you didn't have that. Every, he was no, he was more Jesus than anybody was Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> I'm joking. But it's funny because then I said to her like because I'm making that joke too. Like St. Lawrence has been closed. It's like y'all. Died a long time ago. I'm talking about the ones that we were still out here living. No, nah, man, they close enough. <laughs> but this this parish, we already buried you. Exactly. These dead people coming back talking. But this parish thing and the and the the, the elementary school part, I think hurts more because I forget. Is it Notre Dame Academy that merged with the, on the northwest side the all girls school and all boys school, and then they closed? That happened up here with Seton. Yeah. yeah, Seton went co-ed and it yeah. closed. And, and I'm, look at that. And I'm forgetting what it was called. But Two my cousins. My my college Absolutely. girlfriend went to the all girls school when it was still that. And now, then they merged. And it still wasn't enough. And then it completely closed. They announced it a couple months ago. Mm. And it it was like, oh, that sucks because like, it's like the whole like northwest side right like where the city and the suburbs come together like would draw what? from that. But like the elementary school part is so much different, and the parish part yeah. is so much different than high school. Because a part of me is like, screw is. that! Like, go to the public school, like, be right. out with people, meet other people, don't be cloistered in your Catholicness. But like, man, this church on Sundays and to be able to be the continuity yeah, is I different. Like, I don't, and I don't feel like we were like I'm not Catholic, but I do I, I do live by some of the tenets of the religion. I don't feel, and I did. I was an altar boy. I was wow, really? Yeah, I was an altar boy. Wait, you weren't. Catholic then, mm-hmm. and you, but you were still an altar boy. What, what, I had to be Catholic to be altar boy. I just find it surprising. I think, uh, and I actually <laughs> thought you did. Quit putting people in a box, Jesus. <laughs> no, I, I, that's the point. He just said living in a box. I, the point I was going to make. I don't feel like because I think our experience was somewhat different because these schools. One thing that's funny about being in my my grade school is that you walk from one end of the hallway to another. At the beginning, they always had the classes for the year. Right? Yeah. And they were in black. They were in black and white. And there were all these, all these white classes, and you could start seeing where the neighborhoods through the white flight start becoming black, mm-hmm. and how these churches had to adapt to a, a new yeah. congregation. So I don't feel as if, to a certain degree, like there were some people that were more dedicated. As a student, I was more dedicated than just your average student because yeah. it wouldn't just be the third Sunday. I would definitely. We were supposed to go by the third Sunday, just like y'all have to do. They didn't enforce it, but like you have to do stuff for grace unless you got to pay for it. Yeah. We had to go on the third Sunday. We had to go to mass, hmm. but they didn't really enforce it. And I mean, I usually was at mass at least half of the time anyway. And because who wants to sit there when I could be an altar boy and I could just be doing whatever the hell I want to do? Sure. So, well, but also the altar boy thing. I might be misremembered, but I did think you had to be like able to receive communion and no. whatever. But nobody cared. It's that. fine if you were able I to mean, do I it without have, that. Yeah, that's I cool. Could, yeah, it was, but yeah, I always my parents made me go up there. Every, we had to go. To, I always had to go to mass, and a bunch of people signed up because they're like, "Yeah, it's cool." I would like the robes, and they're like, "This is ox. I actually have to do stuff, so we're just not going to go to church." My parents would see that there was no altar servers, and literally they would just mm-hmm. nudge me. And eventually, they didn't have to nudge me anymore. I just knew because that's like you said, I'm doing something. Yeah, I'm doing. Don't it's have to more sit fun there to do something. I basically altar served like almost every week because yeah. of that because people didn't show up. But that's a part of growing I was up in Baptist the night. Sunday school I almost every Sunday. I didn't do that. That's a lot of church. Uh, I had decent Between the church. two, did the priest call you on the rotary phone? 
No. <laughs> Jason, we need you. <laughs> We're short today. I was already there. God's calling That's you. The thing. <laughs> Then I have little old ladies come up and tell me, oh, it's so nice you do this. You're going to be a priest. Oh and I had to do the I want a family thing so that they wouldn't break their heart. Real quick. I got uh, Amazon uh, Prime up right quick. Did you have a power glove? Hell no. I, this kid down the street on 75th and Merle had one. It didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. So I why had... was I going to get When I saw he had Al, R.I.P. Al. Um, I had one. Al had one. The damn thing didn't work. I think I had it for like maybe like a few days. And I told my parents, like, this thing don't work. And he took it back. And because it was too early to try to do that. Now mm-hmm. they were being real, They were way ahead of the yeah. time. Like now? Yeah. Yeah. It back now. It's basically VR in a sense. And he had like the board, you open it up and you move your hand and Mario would jump kind of way. Yeah, that oh was my that. God. But then you're doing this, something like, hell no. Like once, once I saw him, I was like, oh, it, I knew it didn't work. I'm like, we, this, we are not this advanced. Because no. at the point, I, my grandma used to always get 89. me. 89. She used to always get me these. Um, she, the, she didn't get into to, uh, the home shopping network to like 88. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was late to the home shopping club. Mm-hmm. So she would get me remote controls for my Nintendo. Oh, okay. And I knew that those sometimes didn't, didn't work, work as well. But right. they could work. But not what is being the plug in. So when they came out with this, I was like, "It's no way that's gonna really work." So when he, I went down to his house and he had not saw it, then I was like, "Man, I ain't getting it." There was so much of that with video gaming, though. There were always some weird thing that was out on the peripheries that bombed, and then like fifteen years later, they we finally had the technology for it. Yeah, they figured yeah, it I out. I saw, um, I saw the first smartphone. I think IBM built it. They only made like one thousand of them. Uh, it was on American Pickers, which I had oh, actually. Yo show? They were in Chicago. I had something. That's said something to Was me. this after or before the Moonshine episode? This was after the Moonshine <laughs> I sent something from American Moon Pickers. Moonshines and burners. To, for you. Actually, I think I saved it. <laughs> but smart burners. Since you dissed me. it. They were in Chicago, and they was talking about what? the neighborhoods in Chicago. Because you said American's Pickers was racist when you would do all that wrestling and racism you enjoy. Don't you pay for the WWE uh, thing? I do. You pay for racism. <laughs> Card carrying racist oh right God. here. He gives them money. Have you not seen Bianca Belair? You better who's be going Bianca, to Evanston. Uh, t- oh, she is. Cool. You better be going to that Evanston dispensary. Basically, you need to go. No, even. Her husband is part of a. Uh, her, her husband's actually from here. He's uh, pretty good too. Tag team. What you, you need to do? Too? What you need to do is just so tra- mean, transition over that, to. That AEW. means they're not racist. <laughs> what? That means they're not racist, Donald Sterling. Then you don't have to what worry about these blacks out here playing basketball. Hey, listen. I got these uh, blacks playing basketball. Clearly, I can't be racist. Naomi came up with a big stallions. afro. Big afro. As a matter of fact, they had a big, they had a big uh, write-up, in essence, uh, on uh, three female wrestlers. This black is wrestlers. the image of when I searched uh, IBM smartphone. That's it. Oh, okay, that I, that's why I was like... That's it. When you said, what is that? I was like, I, I hope what it's it was. the thing. Oh. That's exactly it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> it doesn't look what I... Uh, uh, did that's not first, look that's like what I was expecting. Right really? It did not look what like what was I was this? expecting. That was like uh, maybe in 94? the 80s. Maybe you have to say early 90s. 94? Yeah. That is way ahead of its form time. factor. Brick. Also, how many how many units of that IBM phone did you say there were? I think they made a thousand of them. Fifty thousand. Damn. Carl yeah, Jones. they were. They probably were giving them away at a certain point because they were probably way too expensive for the marketplace right. that they had because it was nineteen ninety four. Huh. Now look at this. Cardell Jones has a job. Uh, Ken, he's the quarterback of the DC Defenders in the XFL. Landry Jones is quote unquote. I saw a headline. Yeah, the, the face. face of. It's like, what? Landry Jones? Yes. Oh, I don't know about that. He was a construction worker after dropping out of the NFL. As long as you got people out here, they, they're able to still live their dream. They get to play football. You just love Vince. No, I actually Basically. I don't. Basically. I don't like Vince. I don't like Vince at all. I love his dirty drawings. No. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Print those shirts. That's just disgusting. Racist shirts. I like The Rock. You got to go for the local. Oh, the cover up. Tees. The like, cover up wrestler. Like, Didn't he just say I, like I had a rock. black friend? <laughs> You just did when you said I like the rock. I, I'm not finished. We know what that's cold for. I'm not finished. Uh, Mark Henry. Uh, who else? D'Lo Brown. Come on, let's go. D'Lo Brown. Ron Simmons. Ron Simmons. Ron Simmons. The na- the nation. Ron nation. Simmons didn't come back. A domination. No. But that was that was Harley. white Harley. and black. Booker T. Oh, Booker T. Too cold, Scorpio. You got to go Farouk if you're going to go cold. Nation of Domination. Doom, doom, doom. Doom. Scorpio. Sa- uh, doom, Sasha doom. Banks doing a thing out there. You only like the black wrestlers. Oh, racist. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so reverse cold. racism. Exactly. Listen, matter of fact, I was talking to my mother yesterday, uh, not yesterday, a couple of days ago, and she was, it was, I was telling my grandmother, I was like, hey, I want to take you to a WWE event, and I was, I was like, I was telling my friends about how you used to go when you was young, and she's like, yeah, oh, I used to love it. it was like, my mother was like, yeah, my grandma, your grandma thought it was real. 
And, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> and they left, loved it. But uh, my mother was like, you remember me taking you to Rose My Horizon, which is now the All-State Arena, to go see The Undertaker and all those guys. Out there. And she's like, yeah, me and you just went. Your daddy had to work, and I took you out there to go see your first WWE thing. I think I was like seven or eight I years can't still. You know one reason I don't like wrestling? Why? Because I love the Undertaker. As a kid, my favorite problem. That's the problem. Why? As a mm. kid, the Undertaker was funny to me. It was mm. like this is a funny bit they got yeah. going on. It, and and it I love I yeah. love the uh, Paul Paul Bear Paul, Paul Bear. Bear. Yeah. Yeah. Undertaker. Yeah. You got, you got the urn. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. but the urn gave him power. But see, uh, at that point to I come back it. to come it. back twenty years later and find out he's the biggest wrestler was kind of disappointing to me. Why? Because it was like not him, the Joker. I mean, oh, it's like, they, like, well, he changed, this he bit changed, is the you are best. besmirching he, Undertaker a little bit. He changed right his now. character. You he know what though? Character. Ken actually isn't that wrong about this though. Like they, like you never thought that character would have went like that the way. Brooklyn, Every, I came right. back in the Brooklyn Brawler was running everything. <laughs> everybody that every oh, well like, now, damn, not, not at all, not at all, not at all. Sir. Now Brooklyn we went way brawler. too far. Now we went way too far into jobber status. Like, Sergeant like, Slaughter still's got it. Not a, not a real veteran. Not a real veteran. Right, right, right. Well, uh, look at this. John Cena right now was a... Who doesn't like John who's, Cena? Who's the who best wrestler? Like John Cena? Of all time? Oh, he I did was still the Rock's answer. bit. The who? The Rock's bit. Oh, he who? He just made it. He put hip-hop on it. Oh, I'm going to do some of the Rock stuff with some hip-hop. And, and my he wife. said, I'm a rock... Uh, I'm a wrestling Mark Wahlberg. That was his thing. <laughs> Pretty <Yeah. good>. Um <laughs> That wasn't good either. Uh, wait a minute. You said what was the question? Your favorite wrestler? Who's I want to know who the greatest wrestler is in Ken's opinion. Oh, Hulk Hogan, the one who uses the N word loosely and, and the Rock. Please, <laughs> you should have known. What I agree with that. Wait, I, I like black people too, dude. Wait, wait, what are, you should have saw him when Hulk Hogan. All that news came out. Ken Hart was hurt. He was hurt. Lies. He said, "I can't lie my ass." You love Hulk Hogan. Loved him. Loved him. E D. E D. Ed, buddy, <laughs> past tense, wait, sir. When he pop up on TV, Grace is like, "Daddy, that's your enemy right there, Hulk Hogan." I'm like, "He's not my enemy, but no, he doesn't like us." But hey, I'm, I'm, he's our I'll enemy. I'm team. I'll mess with I'm him. team. Fuck Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I am too. I am too. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what's our day, cri- what's our criteria? It doesn't have to be like. No, I just want pop, his opinion. No, but I mean, really, scope, it, what are we basing on? Because he said the Undertaker is not a good wrestler. No, so I was curious who was your best. It's to me for me, it's The Rock. But he's right. Uh, past tense, I love Hulk Hogan. Love he Hulk brought Hulk. me into wrestling mm-hmm. uh, to me. And I'm saying that. That's even why I'm saying, look, you got to think how big Hulk Hogan was in the 80s. And I said, G.I. Yeah, Joe was man. bigger. Yeah. Let you know, I'm just giving, I'm, I loved probably Hulk, I love Hulk Hogan more at the time than G.I. Joe. But um, no, the, my favorite wrestler now is definitely The Rock. Or I can even say, and he actually Not has, favorite though, greatest. The, and oh, the, and Hulk Hogan isn't he the greatest wrestler technically anyway. I want to know, I want well, to know your, your greatest, in your opinion, who's your the GOAT greatest. of wrestling? The question still stands, though. Are we talking about, because he named The Rock, is it because he crossed over, or is it, are we still limiting just to wrestling? Oh, he was That's an amazing was wrestler. He was, the best. but if you put him at the top of the mountain place, you almost have to factor in his pop culture viability. I yeah, think, I'll yeah. Get, I can do that. I'm, He's on the Mount because, Rushmore. Because I say otherwise, the I say, there I, are others. I, from, I say The Rock. I'm with that. I say The Rock. I think he's the greatest of right. I mean, again, I like this. The greatest that, of all time. You could say Dustin, the biggest faker. That could be Jordan. <laughs> that could be Jordan and um and Kobe. Even though now how people, I, I am not hate Don't to say. Don't go it. down that road. I'm not even talking about that. Oh, Gail Pip King Hamilton. Thing. I'm talking about uh. Yeah, the, you should see the coaches in this thing. Big uh, Pep Hamilton people fan. People huh? say people that say Kobe's the goat now that. Two weeks ago was like nah, and oh, it's like okay. that's where I'm like, oh, right. you slow that. Down. You don't yeah. have to do that. That's, that's a big small thing. That's what that whoa, is. Whoa, 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 brother! Watch your mouth. What happened? Wait, what, what happened? Sydney Sam, he just it. said that's the Biggie Smalls effect. Good. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Because oh. remember, people ding, ding. was the greatest rapper of all time when he when he passed. He was the greatest rapper of all time. Oh, we'll, we'll, what we'll you got to bring up? Busy oh, B. He, when he passed, <laughs> who you going to who you gonna break up? No, no, who no, are no. you going to say was the greatest at that I time? Know. I just want to know. Who? Kumo D? I love Kumo D. He's I know you. I know, I know. He's I, in my top five of all time. Don't you be hating on Kumo D. I love Kumo D too. <laughs> okay. But I know uh, where you was sure. going. I knew you was going to go with somebody <laughs> that was not. Everyone else. Did, I know you're not going to say it was Karen has one. I he like my, him, but no. He's I know, my goat. I know you're not going to say it was Rocky. He's my No. Goat. Then you don't have anything to add to this. Then. El, El Cujo, I know. He was your guy too. El Cujo is He's better than Biggie. No, he's not. 
But yes, he, he is. No, no, he's not. He's had a better <laughs> career than Biggie because of the Olympics. We talking career. about straight rhyming? Straight rhyming. He's not a better. But I will say this. I, I still don't think he gets appreciated. He does not. Because he made it through the 80s and the 90s. In a, and what early was, 2000s. But what, what, and what was considered. But I'm thinking when he was dropping. Hot oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. what was con- considered a fad. So we never held on to these people because you expected for them to be aged out. And he, even though and he was a person that actually took L's and kept coming back. He reinvented himself twice, basically. Mm-hmm. So. I don't think he's appreciated for being one of the greatest in hip hop, period. But if we're talking about lyrics, and again, I'm not even dissing L because I think one of the things that his makes lyrics, him great, his penmanship was nice. No, the fact that he rhymes in a battle, uh, battle rapper style, it always made his style, it never made his style old through the 80s and 90s. Right. Because he rhymed like a battle rapper, so it was always attacking. So it wasn't like, that sounds dated as fuck or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he was, able, and was also able to kind of dial it back and do the love ballads. Yeah. He, Those he, are great he, points. It's ladies love he Cool J. He is way He came in saying, yes. I'm going to do the ladies. Yeah, yeah. All right? Yeah, so yeah, he's, a he's definitely underrated. Wow. That's interesting that you, hmm. Don't the do Biggie it. Small effect. Don't do it. Don't, you don't wow. play into that bullshit. Wow, wow, wow. Who's, you can still say who's the greatest rapper at that time in 96, 97. I liked some of his stuff, but who I kinda... did you have? You didn't like drug dealer rap. We know that wasn't Joe shit. No, you wasn't out here living the, in the life. No, I'm not about was, that life. Yeah, see, I heard about him not about yeah, that life. But for, for us in the hood, that was all. That was life. That's like these kids now, where the, it's 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 a hiding an over dramatized version of what's taking place. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. that's the thing. That's the, but I get that that style wasn't just so. You're not going to be. But if you were cool with that style and what he could, I mean. He still influenced how rap is to this day. I mean, there really probably is no Jay Z without Biggie. Jay Z's still rapping fast. All right, he's rapping like that without Big. Like the hip hop. Nah, he had changed by then. No, he had changed by then. He no, already no, no, had no. reasonable doubt. Yeah, he he had means it's the influence in the role. When when you say he changed, you got to look at it as I'm not talking about when Jay Z in '96. We got to look at when Big first started popping out. Oh, right. he was in '94. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, 1991. That's what I'm okay. saying. All right, all right. All right. Like, but anyway, Chicago could become the largest city in the nation to decriminalize natural psychedelics like mushrooms and peyote. A little over a month after Chicago made recreational marijuana legal, the city council is considered whether to decriminalize what are termed as. I think this is entheogenics, plants that contain uh, psychoactive substances that can induce a spiritual experience. Denver decriminalized uh, psychedelic mushrooms in May and Oakland followed suit in June last month. Santa Cruz voted unanimously, unanimously to decriminalize all uh, ethogenic plants. Among proponents of such a move in Chicago is Alderman Brian Hopkins, Second War, who introduced a resolution in October to have Chicago Department of Health explore the potential benefits of substances for treating a range of illnesses from post-traumatic stress disorder to drug addiction. Uh, the resolution recommends that the law enforcement reduce the pursuit of criminals cases involving organic psychedelics uh, to amongst the lowest priority. In this statement, Hopkins said, I'd like to encourage public discussion to explore the use of such substances to treat a range of ailments from PTSD to chronic traumatic encephalopathy, uh, CT as we know it, and anxiety and depression. So you may be able to, uh, Cal said on a uh, uh, jolly, uh, uh, jolly Pumpkin trip, he wanted to do something crazy this year. Go he give him some peyote. Go ahead. Phil Jackson it up. I've already said this, although people smack it down. And oh, yeah, I was watching a Democratic debate last night, and somebody was kind of coming at the Andrew Yang. Oh, was it? No, no, it was Pete Buttigieg. And he was saying, like, on his uh, website, he said that he believes all drugs should be legal. Uh, I know, I've, I've been saying this forever. Like, you might as well go ahead and legalize everything. I know Ken doesn't believe in legalizing smack. Facts. Uh, but um, <laughs> are we headed down that road seven, anyway? Seven scourge of They're not gonna leave the last smack. Don't go I smack. promise you, they're not gonna. All right, let's wrap this up. We've got it done. He <laughs> wants it. He doesn't. He's right. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> I think, I think you going. I think you probably should with the fentanyl on it. Listen, Ooh. if you're going to get it. They can't even get it his, right. The batches ain't even right. His biggest yeah. thing is, and well, one thing I will say I agree with, the simple fact of not prosecuting people for having a medical having to be addicted to it yeah I agree that's the that. biggest thing if you want to decriminalize it in that form definitely do do that because you hook you you're sentencing people to jail you send people to jail because of the addiction issue they have you should not do that uh making it legal as a pipe dream I'm, I'm not pipe dream but i'm just saying that's not really going to happen although i think in some cases where it probably should happen but if this is if this is to happen listen but, I mean, I, i'm not shocked that this is fine, but they found good uses yeah 
for psychedelic drugs. The antidepressant value in the recent yeah, research yeah. is amazing. Like, so is it going to be in a medical form first, and then probably course, recreational? Yeah, pro- definitely medical form. Yeah, I mean, that's the same. As far as everything I know, hits that. Thing is that everything's going to hit medical. You, you, you want to avoid? Well, when I when I first saw this a couple years ago for for use as, as a medical purpose, they were still being proponents of you need to do it in a controlled setting with experts to make sure you don't have a bad trip. Right. So they're and they were still saying like he just said with uh, the depression and all these other type of ailments that people suffer from. We saw PTSD and CTE. How instead of giving them something else that has uh, worse side effects, that this mm-hmm. could definitely alleviate the opioid them. crisis. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. This could definitely things. alleviate them. I wasn't aware. That I might be wrong. I don't feel like they're at a place where they're prescribing medications like with the research. I feel like the research isn't to that level yet. Think, so we're just recreationaling it out there. Yeah. Which. Has its pluses and its minuses, I suppose. Also, without the I, medical possibility. I, didn't we say this in an article or maybe it was something else I was saying? It used to take years for the FDA to approve drugs, and now it takes like 10 months or under. And they're saying that the too many drugs are coming to market that haven't really been tested, tested. out. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of money greasing I, the yeah, wheels. Uh, John I mean, Oliver did a it, great thing on, really? yeah, on, on things that do and don't have the FDA's approval or whatever. Look how many commercials you see? This may call anal leakage. That's what you worried about. I worried about the suicide thoughts. <laughs> or I, mean, I worry about the ones that would be like no, I'm I'm walking when you're sleepwalking and suicidal thoughts. I'm like, so I'm walking or, and I may kill myself. Or what about when the side effect is instant death? Yeah. Have you ever yeah, heard that yeah. one? Yeah. It's like uh, I'm good with the the cause and not the side effect. That's why Trick Daddy still smoke Primos. Have, did you see the video of him humping on stage <laughs> or gyrating on stage? Mm-hmm. This fat fat ass. That's guy. Primos for you. <laughs> I mean, he was going at it. What song was they playing? They was playing now. I think ain't no now because it was like when he dropped that. He was like, (laughs) I mean, he was hitting it. I don't know. He probably thought he saw something there, but he was going to town. It don't matter. Trick loves the kids. (laughs) He loves that. Get off that stage. He still got him something. (laughs) All right, hey, make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram at D and Davis Show. Once again, it's at D and Davis Show. Facebook dot com forward slash D and Davis Show iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Music, Stitcher, the TuneIn app, World on Anchor, which kicks you over to Spotify, and the YouTube, and a whole host of other podcast platforms. I'm on Twitter, Demons1, D-E-M-O-N-Z-E-1, Twitter and IG. Ken's on Twitter and IG at That's Davis. Ryan Bukovsky, executive producer of the D.N. Davis, and D.N. Davis the Flip. He's on Twitter at Ryan B. Ski, IG at Ryan B. Ski1. Jason Kessner, J.F. Kessner, IG and Twitter, and Sidney Brown. Follow him on Twitter and IG at CKD80. You must. Yeah. Um, listen, we'll definitely be here for Dan Davis' show uh, going into All-Star Week here in Chicago, which I'm not really that excited about. Which is Because the Bulls are just yeah, pathetic. Yeah, really just disheartening what the Bulls have turned into that we don't care. Uh, somebody asked me We've how much gotten do to I the watch. point where we need a Derrick Rose. Yeah. That's the only way. This starts getting better. Yeah, and I mean, you got to get lucky and get the number one, and it's got to be a superstar. The funny thing is, Derrick Rose. Not that's where Derrick we were at. Right. That's where we were at at that point when we got Derrick Rose. Sure was. We were kind of like at that point, Pax was gonna get hit. He was gonna, yeah, he's mm-hmm. gonna get. He hit. was stuck. And he's yeah. coming back. And then that one so point, he didn't whatever. have guard in front of him. Then now he has a he has a, a casualty that can get shot first. Hmm. At that point, it was Pax. It wasn't guard Pax yeah, at that point. It was just Pax. Yeah, it was just Pax. Uh, so definitely, anyway. Uh, definitely we'll be back with Dan Davis' show. Uh, definitely go over what's been going on in sports. Maybe do a little baseball. Definitely do some basketball. Mm-hmm. We didn't get into the trades that just took place the other day. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Real quick, did you uh, did you have a winner? Did you love what one team did? I mean, I guess you have to love what the Clippers did because mm-hmm. they kept mm-hmm. Morris away from the Lakers. Mm-hmm. And the Lakers ended up with nothing, yeah. as, uh, except they're probably going to get Darren Collison to come out of retirement there. Uh, so that would probably be that. But see, the Clippers, I, I know that we live in a world where we believe Kawhi can turn it on when he wants to, but that team was already a ready-made team in a way that he went to in Toronto. Like, they lost a player and they put him in there, and then, of course, they added uh, uh, Marc Gasol. And I know that the, the the reserve players, for the most part, with the Clippers have been together, but you added PG to that, and we've heard that perhaps there are people that's not as happy with some of the unfair, what they deem as unfair treatment uh, that the stars get. But I still want to see them become a cohesive unit first. Before I'm like, yeah, they're the odds on favorite uh, in the West or whatsoever. So I, I would like to see that. But yeah, I definitely have to say um, they won. I felt like the, the Pistons should have, I, I, look, they should have done Derrick Rose a solid. In the I thought they was going to move him. 
I, but right. if they you was really asking for a first round pick and people was like, I'm not no. giving you a first round pick for Derek, which is understandable too. Yeah, which is of course, and and still you got to still think they still have to have people come through the turnstiles for the remainder of the season. True. So at least, and with Blake Griffin gone, at least you have Derrick Rose there to give people a reason to go to Piston Games. Somewhat of a reason, not the way it used to be back in the day. But now that they playing. lost Andre Drummond, yeah. well, they yeah, traded him. Yeah, traded him <laughs> into Cleveland, though. Right. Yeah. Which was, yeah, was, I missed that rebounder. That yeah, I know. <laughs> like, why do that? I mean, I well, not, not well, not why did the Pistons do it? Because he has an opt out. But why did the, the oh, yeah, Cavaliers? Right. Yeah, yeah, why that's did what I'm talking about. Right. And then yeah. keep Tristan Thompson. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the fuck they do. Exactly. Uh, also, too, with Iguodala going down to Miami, I, I I had brought it up a few weeks ago. I'm like, watch out for Miami. Maybe they could be a team who could probably. <sighs> now I'm not saying Iguodala is going to be the cherry on top, but having that veteran leadership <laughs> there. Who able to hit some big shots? He always outplays his talent. Yeah, mm-hmm. he can probably do something for them. And I'm not sleeping on Miami yet. I'm not. I'm not doing that as far as like really going far in the East. I should say. Let me make a quick prediction. I think I heard someone say this the other day. I believe it was Jason Golf at NBC Sports Chicago. Miami, uh, they'll be my dark horse to get Giannis next summer. Ooh, mm. I've heard yeah, people say that. See, I've heard that. It's either mm. Miami or the Golden State. Mm-hmm. That's it, because he's not gonna go to LA. No. He's not, Giannis isn't going to go to L.A. It's going to be Miami or it's going to be uh, definitely – I mean, I thought that. It's going to be GSW mm. or Miami. Mm. Mm. You know, like – And in GSW got uh, Wiggins now, too, so – Which I don't – now that one I don't understand. We'll try to rejuvenate. Try to it's nothing rejuvenate. to rejuvenate. There. First round pick might be nice, though. <laughs> yeah. But they got – For what? They got with Wiggins a it's first a, round I pick. I think oh, yeah. it's first three picks protected. It's, yeah, top three protected. Top three yeah, protected. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but Golden State pick is going to be high this year. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I'm just saying I wouldn't bring Wiggins. I wouldn't pay Wiggins. The other I'm one? Like, you try to hope you have some yeah, veteran leadership with uh, with a um, Green and a Curry have and a Thompson. Have you looked at his game? Put him, I'm, not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying he's going to be in no all be all. growth whatsoever. But try to see if ever. Steve Kerr can kind of put him somewhere. He, since he's been in the league, he's been the worst. he? Like twenty six? Twenty four. Yeah. He's been Oh, he got a lot of, he had a lot of time left. Twenty four years old? At least to turn he's his career. Been in the league six years. At least turn his career around. And me and and, and to be in an organization Dude, like that. Nobody has ever been paid that much and been a bust that turned it around. You think he's a bust? Hell yeah, he's a bust. Mm-hmm. So far. For what he was expected to he be. He was a number two. He's pick. number one. Number one You're number one. You gotta yeah. resurrect yourself somewhere though. It's gotta yeah. be GSW, right? By That's the what way, I'm thinking. I think Memphis, they did a nice trade deadline. They they're putting together a squad for the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Justice Winslow with Jaron Jackson like and uh right Ja. And, and it frees up Justin's window Winslow with the, the what he had grained and playing point last year and then having to take a backseat with Jimmy basically being there. It, it was nice to free him. And it's just this Easy on the eyes. Mm. Did not know. Congratulations, Memphis. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, definitely, we always appreciate you spending some time with us and letting us reside in your mind as we rant about things that are important and unimportant. Uh, please don't do anything stupid before you hear from us again. We gone. Keep your hands to yourself. The flip.